What a feast of astronomical activity. These gigantic black holes lurk at the center of galaxies. We have one right in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. That's right, time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. However, if you stretch the trampoline net so much, it can rip, perhaps. And perhaps you can turn this trampoline net into a pretzel and allow yourself to go backwards in time. We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. For over a century since Einstein first predicted their existence in 1916, the scientific community and enthusiasts alike have been captivated by the allure of capturing an actual photograph of a black hole. These cosmic giants, powerful beyond comprehension yet invisible to the naked eye, stir both awe and mystery in our quest for understanding the universe. As we explore these massive beasts of the cosmos, we delve into how something so immensely powerful can remain virtually unseen, hidden within the very fabric of space-time itself. Join us as we uncover the secrets of these mysterious phenomena. Now we've got it in the bag. We've actually photographed the silhouette, mm. the shadow of a black hole. But that's just the... Historical context and theoretical foundations. Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of general relativity in 1916 revolutionized our understanding of gravity and the cosmos, predicting phenomena that even he could barely imagine, including black holes. These theoretical voids in the fabric of space-time where gravity's pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape, remained a mathematical curiosity for decades. It wasn't until the 1960s that black holes shifted from theoretical constructs to observable realities. Astronomers studying the Cygnus constellation observed a blue star emitting unusual X-rays and behaving erratically around an invisible partner. This led to the discovery of Cygnus X1, a compelling candidate for a black hole, providing the first physical evidence that these cosmic behemoths were not just theoretical fantasies, but real astronomical entities in our universe. First discovery and characteristics of black holes. The story of black holes took a dramatic turn with the discovery of Cygnus X1. In the 1960s, astronomers studying the Cygnus constellation were intrigued by an unusually bright blue star emitting X-rays at an extraordinary rate. This was no ordinary celestial body. It was a stellar phenomenon behaving in ways that defied initial understanding. Further investigation revealed that these X-rays were not just emanating on their own, but were being intensely pulled into a nearby invisible object, which we now know as a black hole. This discovery was pivotal because it provided the first concrete evidence of black hole's existence, confirming Albert Einstein's theoretical predictions. Cygnus X1 exhibited properties that were both fascinating and terrifying. It shone with a luminosity about 14 times that of our sun, yet its gravitational pull was so strong that not even light could escape it, rendering the black hole invisible and justifying its name. This immense gravitational force is crucial for understanding why black holes are such a significant find in the cosmos. They are not merely vacuums in space, but regions where gravity reshapes the very fabric of reality. This blend of visible indicators and invisible forces made Cygnus X1 a landmark in astronomical studies and sparked a renewed interest in probing deeper into the nature of black holes. Research evolution and modern understanding. Over the decades, our understanding of black holes has transformed dramatically. From theoretical predictions to tangible evidence, the journey culminated in a groundbreaking moment in 2021 when scientists captured the first clear photograph of a black hole located in the M87 galaxy. This image wasn't just a snapshot. It was a major leap in cosmic photography achieved by linking telescopes worldwide to create a planet-sized interferometer which provided the necessary resolution to see the unseeable. The photograph itself revealed much more than expected. It gave us a direct look at the event horizon or the point of no return, where gravitational pull becomes so strong that not even light can escape. This allowed astronomers to confirm several theoretical predictions about black holes' behavior and structure. By observing the glowing gas orbiting at the edge of the event horizon, 
researchers could measure the black hole's massive influence on its surroundings, offering new insights into how matter behaves in such extreme environments. This not only validated some of Einstein's predictions about general relativity, but also opened new avenues for understanding the fundamental laws of physics in the most extreme conditions known in the universe. The layers of a black hole. Diving deeper into the anatomy of a black hole reveals a complex structure composed of distinct layers, each playing a critical role in its function and behavior. The outermost layer, known as the event horizon, is famously termed the point of no return. It marks the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. This layer defines the visible outline of the black hole and acts as a gateway to its mysterious inner workings. Moving closer to the core, we encounter the photon sphere. This is a not so well-known layer where gravity is so strong that photons, particles of light, are forced into orbital paths around the black hole. Here, light bends around the black hole in a mesmerizing cosmic dance, creating loops of brilliant light that can sometimes be observed with sophisticated telescopes. The photon sphere is crucial for astronomers trying to see and study black holes indirectly by observing how light behaves in this extreme environment. At the very heart of a black hole lies the singularity, a point where the laws of physics as we know them break down. In this region, matter is crushed to infinite density, and the gravitational pull is infinitely strong. The singularity represents one of the greatest mysteries in modern physics. It's where our understanding of gravity, space, and time is challenged and where current theories reach their limits. Each layer of a black hole from the event horizon to the singularity not only contributes to its intriguing nature, but also offers a unique playground for testing the theories of physics in extreme conditions. The nature and dangers of black holes. Black holes are not just fascinating scientific phenomena, they are also incredibly dangerous regions of space. At the heart of their danger is their intense gravitational pull, a force so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape once it crosses the event horizon. This boundary marks the point of no return. For any object unfortunate enough to get too close, the outcome is both dramatic and fatal. This leads us to the gruesome concept of spaghettification. Imagine you're falling feet first into a black hole. The gravitational pull on your feet would be significantly stronger than on your head, stretching you longer and thinner like spaghetti. This stretching happens because different parts of your body experience different intensities of gravity. Eventually, this effect becomes so extreme that it tears apart anything caught in its grasp, atom by atom. The perils of black holes extend beyond the immediate destruction of material objects. Their presence can disrupt nearby stellar environments, drawing in and accumulating gas, dust and other celestial debris in a swirling accretion disk. This accumulation can lead to energetic emissions and powerful jets that reshape their cosmic neighborhood. Thus, the very nature of black holes as regions of extreme gravity makes them not only fascinating to study, but also incredibly hazardous to anything within their reach. Recent photographic breakthroughs. In a groundbreaking achievement, scientists have recently managed to capture the first clear images of a black hole, specifically the M87 black hole. This monumental event in astrophysics not only confirms the existence of black holes, but also allows us to peek into the dynamic processes that govern these enigmatic features of our universe. By stitching together multiple photographs taken over several nights, researchers have developed a more comprehensive view of the black hole structure. These images reveal fascinating details about the black hole's behavior, particularly how matter and light behave around this extreme gravitational force. This insight is crucial as it helps scientists understand the accretion processes and the emission of powerful jets that extend thousands of light years into space. The ability to visually observe these phenomena provides unprecedented information, transforming our theoretical knowledge into tangible, observable facts. This data is vital for testing the limits of our current physical theories and potentially guiding us towards new discoveries in black hole dynamics and the fundamental laws of physics. Black hole theories and spinning black holes. 
1963, Roy Kerr revolutionized our understanding of black holes with his groundbreaking model that described not just any black hole, but those that spin. This concept introduced us to the idea of rotating black holes, which differ significantly from the non-spinning versions predicted by earlier theories. Kerr's model proposes that the space around these spinning black holes twists along with them, leading to the formation of something known as the ergosphere. This region, lying just outside the event horizon, is where the effects of the black hole's spin are most pronounced. Matter and radiation can enter the ergosphere and receive energy from the black hole's rotation, potentially being flung out at great speeds. The implications of Kerr's model stretch even further with the theoretical possibility of the Einstein-Rosen bridge, commonly referred to as a wormhole. This hypothetical feature suggests a tunnel-like pathway through space-time, facilitated by the unique structure of spinning black holes. Theoretically, these bridges could connect two distant points in the universe, or potentially link to parallel universes. While the existence of such wormholes remains speculative, the discussion it sparks among physicists and the general public alike continues to fuel both scientific inquiry and popular fascination with the cosmos. Wormholes and interstellar possibilities. Wormholes capture the imagination as potential shortcuts through the vastness of space-time, offering hypothetical routes that could connect distant or even parallel universes. Derived from Einstein's equations, these intriguing structures are theorized to form tunnels between disparate points in the cosmos, potentially allowing for instantaneous travel across astronomical distances. However, the science behind wormholes is fraught with challenges. Current understanding suggests that while they may theoretically exist, wormholes would likely be highly unstable, collapsing too quickly for anything to pass through without extraordinary amounts of negative energy, something not currently understood to exist in the necessary quantities. This instability has led many scientists to approach the concept of practical wormhole travel with skepticism, maintaining a cautious perspective on the feasibility of using these cosmic phenomena as pathways for interstellar travel. Despite these hurdles, the study of wormholes continues to be a vibrant area of theoretical physics, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe, superstring theory, and its implications. Superstring theory offers a groundbreaking perspective on the unification of the universe's most fundamental forces. This theory suggests that what we perceive as particles are actually tiny, vibrating strings, each resonating at specific frequencies. Unlike traditional particle physics, superstring theory requires a universe with ten dimensions, far beyond the four dimensions of space and time that we experience daily. These additional dimensions aren't just theoretical quirks. They are essential for the mathematics of the theory to work properly, providing a framework that could potentially explain every force and particle in the universe. This bold idea not only bridges the gap between Einstein's theory of general relativity, which governs the cosmos at the largest scales, and quantum mechanics, which reigns over the smallest, but it also offers explanations for phenomena that otherwise defy classical explanations. For instance, superstring theory could elucidate the nature of black holes which challenge our understanding of both gravity and quantum mechanics. By viewing these cosmic puzzles through the lens of superstring theory, physicists hope to unlock answers to some of the most profound questions about the structure and origins of the universe, experimental challenges, and theoretical developments. Studying black holes presents unique challenges to scientists, primarily because these cosmic phenomena do not emit light, making them invisible to traditional observation methods. Researchers must instead rely on indirect methods, such as observing the gravitational effects black holes have on nearby stars and gas clouds. This indirect approach adds layers of complexity and uncertainty to their studies. Further complicating the study of black holes is the theoretical framework of superstring theory. This advanced theory suggests that all fundamental particles are not point-like dots, but rather tiny, vibrating strings. Superstring theory is a leading candidate in the quest to unify Einstein's theory of general relativity with quantum mechanics. However, it posits the existence of ten dimensions, 
six beyond the three spatial dimensions and one time dimension we experience daily. These extra dimensions are theorized to be compact and rolled up so tightly that they are beyond our current capability to observe directly, posing a significant hurdle for empirical validation. The unstable properties of theoretical constructs like wormholes add another layer of complexity. Wormholes predicted by the equations of general relativity under specific conditions are passages through space-time that could, in theory, connect distant parts of the universe or different universes altogether. However, the inherent instability of these wormholes and the extreme conditions likely found at their entrances, such as intense radiation and crushing gravitational forces, make them difficult to study or even confirm their existence scientifically. These challenges mean that much of what we understand about black holes and related phenomena remains speculative, relying on advancing theoretical physics and improving observational technologies to bring these cosmic mysteries into clearer view. The Big Bang and Beyond in String Theory String Theory offers a fascinating twist on the Big Bang Theory, suggesting that what we perceive as the universe's beginning might actually be far more complex. According to this theory, our universe could potentially be the product of two separate universes colliding or a universe birthing another, akin to a cosmic child emerging from its parent. This interconnection between universes is conceptualized through what's known as wormholes, which are theorized as cosmic tunnels linking disparate parts of the universe or even different universes altogether. The implications of this are staggering. If wormholes are real and stable enough to connect different realms of space-time, our current understanding of our place in the cosmos could be fundamentally altered. It raises the possibility that what we consider black holes might actually be gateways or bridges to other dimensions or distant parts of our universe. This leads to an even more bewildering possibility. Could our entire observable universe be inside a black hole located in a much larger universe? Such a scenario would redefine concepts of beginning and end and what it means to exist in this universe. As we continue to explore these profound questions, the mysteries of the cosmos keep our curiosity piqued, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the very fabric of reality. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on your screen right now. We have found a terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found. Astronomers are exploring the cosmos like never before, thanks to the advanced James Webb Space Telescope. This marvel of technology, which launched back in 2021, has sparked a new era of cosmic discoveries, notably concerning Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth, located about 4.25 light years away in the habitable zone of the star Proxima Centauri. Proxima b, a super-Earth in the habitable zone. Understanding Proxima b's tidally locked status, where one hemisphere perpetually faces the star while the other remains in darkness, raises intriguing possibilities about its climatic conditions and the survival strategies that might be necessary for any potential life forms or future human explorers. On Earth, life depends on a stable cycle of day and night to regulate environmental and biological rhythms. In contrast, the permanent daylight on one side of Proxima b could mean environments that are continuously warm and illuminated, while the opposite side might experience perpetual night and significantly cooler temperatures. This stark contrast could affect atmospheric dynamics dramatically, potentially creating extreme weather patterns as heat from the day side tries to circulate to the night side. For a technological civilization on Proxima b, managing these conditions could involve innovative infrastructures, such as vast networks of energy, transfer systems that harness and redistribute solar energy. One could imagine a civilization using advanced technology to create a balanced climate across the planet, perhaps utilizing superconducting cables that span the globe to distribute heat and power efficiently from the illuminated side to the dark side. Such scenarios also invite us to think about the types of technology necessary to detect and interact with such potential civilizations.
Our current search with instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and studies into artificial light could one day reveal signs of such advanced technological adaptations, offering us profound insights into the adaptability of life and technology under extreme conditions. Understanding Proxima B's unique environment not only expands our knowledge of planetary sciences, but also pushes the limits of our technological imagination laying groundwork for the kind of interstellar engineering we might someday deploy in our own cosmic ventures. Thus, Proxima B stands not just as a subject of scientific inquiry, but as a beacon that challenges our ingenuity and resourcefulness in the face of stark, celestial extremes. Hints of Civilization Detecting Artificial Light on Proxima B The James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities have allowed astronomers to detect what might be artificial lights emanating from Proxima b. This observation is particularly intriguing because it suggests the presence of technology, possibly a form of advanced civilization. Imagine a world where night never falls on one side, and on the other, darkness prevails perpetually. It's here, on this eternally shadowed hemisphere, that we might be seeing lights. Lights that could be street lamps, buildings or other manifestations of alien ingenuity similar to how we light up our cities and streets. These lights are not just points of brightness. They could indicate complex energy usage and perhaps even a structured society capable of manipulating their environment significantly. If these findings are verified, this would mark the first time human technology has identified a potentially technologically advanced civilization beyond Earth. This not only expands our understanding of habitability in tight solar orbits, but also deepens the mystery surrounding these distant worlds. Such a discovery redefines not just the search for extraterrestrial life, but also the very parameters of what to look for in the cosmos. The implications of this could be profound, reshaping our search strategies and targets in the ongoing quest to find alien life. As we continue to investigate these signals, we edge closer to perhaps one day confirming the existence of other technologically advanced civilizations in the universe. Delving into Proxima B's atmosphere, the atmospheric study of Proxima B via the James Webb Space Telescope offers a rare window into conditions on a potentially habitable exoplanet. Given the high sensitivity of James Webb's instruments, astronomers can discern subtle variations in the planet's atmosphere, providing insights into its climate and chemical makeup. Proxima B's proximity to its star could lead to extreme atmospheric conditions, including high radiation levels and significant temperature variations between its day and night sides. This makes understanding its atmospheric stability and composition even more critical. Researchers focus on identifying key molecules like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, which are considered essential for supporting life as we understand it. The presence of these molecules can indicate active geological or chemical processes similar to those on Earth, which could sustain an environment conducive to life. For instance, water vapor is a telltale sign of potential hydrological cycles, and methane could suggest organic activity. These detailed observations also help in modeling Proxima B's potential ecosystems and assessing how its environment has evolved over time. Are these conditions stable enough to support life? Does the atmosphere protect the surface from harmful stellar radiation? Each data point collected by the James Webb Space Telescope helps to build a more comprehensive picture of Proxima B's habitability. Ultimately, while the search for alien life is captivating, it is the meticulous study of atmospheres like that of Proxima B that grounds such searches in scientific rigor. This ongoing research not only enhances our understanding of distant worlds, but also refines our knowledge of planetary science, a critical step toward answering the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe. The Philosophical Implications of Discovering Alien Life Exploring Proxima B transcends the scientific ambition of discovering alien life. It taps into a deeper, almost philosophical yearning that has shadowed humanity throughout history. This exoplanet, nestled in the habitable zone of the nearest star to our solar system, serves as a canvas on which we project our grandest existential inquiries. As astronomers pass through data collected by instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, 
Each piece of information offers a potential clue, not just about the conditions on Proxima b, but also about the broader cosmic landscape that surrounds us. The implications of finding life or habitable conditions there are monumental. They would suggest that life-sustaining planets could be more common than previously thought, thereby increasing the probability that the universe teems with life. This prospect shifts our understanding of life's rarity and resilience, prompting us to reconsider our role and significance in the grand scheme of existence. Are we just a cosmic anomaly, or part of a broader, perhaps infinite, tapestry of life forms? Such questions have philosophical weight, influencing everything from the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, to theoretical physics and existential philosophy. The study of Proxima b isn't just a quest for biological signatures or atmospheric analysis. It's a bridge to understanding the universe's capacity to harbor life, challenging our perceptions of loneliness and connectivity in the cosmos. In essence, as we decode the mysteries of Proxima b, we are also unraveling the narrative of human significance in an expansive, dynamic universe. The answers we find could redefine our place in the cosmos as not merely solitary travelers, but potentially as part of a much larger community of cosmic inhabitants. Breakthrough Listen, searching for signals of intelligent life. The Breakthrough Listen project, a pioneering initiative funded by ambitious visionaries, utilizes state-of-the-art radio telescopes to eavesdrop on the universe. Its primary goal is to capture electromagnetic signals that could indicate the presence of intelligent civilizations beyond Earth. Recently, their focus has turned toward Proxima b after detecting a narrow-band radio signal originating from its vicinity. This signal, peculiar due to its specific frequency pattern, closely resembles what we'd expect from a technologically advanced source. While it's far from confirmed as extraterrestrial, this development excites scientists and the public alike, as it may potentially shift our understanding of life in the universe. Each signal captured is rigorously analyzed to differentiate between possible interstellar communications and cosmic noise, ensuring that only the most promising are considered. This tantalizing glimpse into the cosmic landscape not only advances the field of astrobiology, but also deepens the enigma surrounding our nearest stellar neighbor. Such findings promise to catalyze further research, holding the potential to one day break the silence of the cosmos. Proxima, B's rapid orbit and its environmental challenges. Proxima B's rapid orbit of just 11.2 days around its host star presents a unique dynamic when compared to Earth's annual journey around the Sun. This quick orbit implies that a year on Proxima B passes in what would be less than two weeks on Earth, drastically altering how we must approach the study of its seasons and weather patterns if such exist. Given its potential tidal locking, where one side is perpetually day and the other eternally night. Understanding atmospheric circulation becomes crucial. Scientists hypothesize that if an atmosphere does exist, it could be the key to transferring heat between these two extremes, potentially allowing for a more temperate climate in the twilight zone between the harsh environments of the bright and dark sides. Such a study could offer insights into not only the climate and weather patterns on Proxima b, but also broaden our understanding of atmospheric sciences in extreme exoplanetary conditions. This could, in turn, deepen our knowledge of planetary habitability across the universe, revealing how life might adapt to conditions vastly different from those on Earth. Navigating the challenges of a hostile star. Exploring the habitability of Proxima b brings us face to face with the volatile nature of its host star, Proxima Centauri, an M dwarf. These stars, while abundant in our galaxy, present unique challenges for planetary habitability. M-dwarfs are notorious for their violent solar flares, which can be much more frequent and powerful compared to those from our Sun. Such flares emit intense radiation that has the potential to strip away the atmosphere of planets in close orbits like Proxima b. This atmospheric stripping is critical because an atmosphere not only supports life as we know it, but also protects the surface from harmful cosmic and solar radiation. Further complicating the scenario, M dwarfs remain active longer than larger stars, meaning Proxima b is exposed to these harsh conditions for extended periods, potentially billions of years. This prolonged bombardment by solar radiation could hinder the development or sustainability of life, 
as continuous flare activity might prevent the planet from maintaining a stable atmosphere long enough for life to develop or sustain itself. Moreover, the high-energy particles from Proxima Centauri could erode the atmosphere's ozone layer if one exists, increasing the surface's exposure to deadly ultraviolet light. Without an ozone layer, any life forms would be vulnerable to radiation that could mutate DNA, posing another hurdle for life. These factors make the environment of Proxima b appear hostile. However, the resilience of life on Earth in extreme conditions gives us a glimmer of hope that life could adapt in ways we haven't yet imagined. Proxima b continues to captivate our curiosity and drive our exploratory efforts, each discovery bringing us closer to understanding not just other worlds, but also our own planet's resilience and the tenacity of life itself. Advanced tools for a deeper understanding. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, equipped with cutting-edge technology such as the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NEASPEC, and the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, is revolutionizing our study of distant planets. These instruments are not just cameras or telescopes, they are finely tuned analytical tools that break down light into its spectral components. This process, known as spectroscopy, allows scientists to detect specific signatures of gases and other materials present in the atmosphere of Proxima b. NIRSPEC, for example, operates in the near-infrared spectrum and can detect the faintest whispers of light coming from distant celestial objects. It analyzes the light that passes through or is emitted by a planet's atmosphere, capturing data that can reveal the presence of water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and other potential markers of life. This capability is vital because these compounds can suggest biological processes similar to those on Earth. MIRI complements NERSPEC by focusing on the mid-infrared spectrum, which is especially good for studying cooler objects in space. It helps astronomers study the thermal properties of Proxima b, including its temperature variations and heat distribution, which are crucial for understanding the planet's climate and weather systems. MIRI can also see through dust clouds that obscure other instruments, providing a clearer picture of the planet's surface and atmosphere. Together, these instruments provide a comprehensive view of Proxima b's atmospheric makeup and surface conditions, offering insights into whether the planet could support life as we know it. Each new piece of data brings us a step closer to understanding not just Proxima b, but the characteristics that make any planet potentially habitable. The ongoing research with JWST's instruments is gradually filling the gaps in our knowledge about Proxima b's environment, promising to eventually unlock the secrets of this intriguing world. A testament to human advancement in technology, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as a monumental achievement in our quest to understand the cosmos. Equipped with a suite of sophisticated instruments, it peers into the farthest reaches of the galaxy with unprecedented clarity. This telescope uses infrared technology to bypass the dust and gas clouds that obscure other telescopes' views, allowing us to observe the formation of stars and planets in real time, examine the chemical composition of alien atmospheres, and possibly detect signs of life by identifying atmospheric anomalies that cannot be explained by natural processes alone. One of the most intriguing capabilities of the JWST is its potential to observe the atmospheres of distant exoplanets in such detail that we can identify the molecular signatures of water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. These molecules are often considered potential indicators of biological processes. By comparing these findings with our own planet's biosignature, scientists hope to uncover parallels that might suggest similar life-sustaining conditions elsewhere in the universe. This ability to look back in time and out across space provides a clearer picture of our own origins as well. By examining other solar systems at various stages of development, we gain insights into the past and future of our own planetary system. The James Webb Space Telescope not only expands our understanding of the universe, but also serves as a mirror reflecting the possible trajectory of our own planetary destiny. With each mission and observation, JWST is rewriting textbooks on astronomy and possibly biology, bringing us steps closer to solving the ultimate mystery of our existence in this expansive universe. Expanding our cosmic horizons. The exploration of Proxima b transcends traditional astrophysics, 
venturing into philosophical realms as we ponder our place in the cosmos. Studying this exoplanet, particularly within its star's habitable zone, we confront the profound possibility of encountering extraterrestrial life forms. This endeavor not only sharpens our technological prowess, but also deepens our existential inquiries. By analyzing the atmospheric conditions and potential biological signatures on Proxima b, we contribute to a broader understanding of what environments can sustain life. Each discovery here influences our approach to other celestial bodies and adjusts our theories about life's prevalence in the universe, encouraging a broader reconsideration of biological possibilities beyond Earth. This ongoing research could eventually lead to a revolutionary paradigm shift in how we perceive life and intelligence in the universe. The journey of discovery continues. Now let's conclude. The exploration of Proxima b is not just a scientific endeavor, but a journey that taps into the human spirit of discovery, pushing the boundaries of technology, knowledge, and our understanding of life itself. As we peer deeper into the cosmos, each finding adds a new piece to the puzzle of our universe, ever expanding the horizons of human discovery. The universe is teeming with planets outside our solar system, and each one offers a unique glimpse into the vast complexities of space. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, JWS, a marvel of modern science and a beacon of hope for astronomers searching for Earth-like planets. The JWST, with its unparalleled ability to peer into the depths of space through infrared eyes, has transformed our quest to understand distant worlds. Today, we're diving deep into one of JWST's most thrilling revelations yet, the discovery of Gliese 163c. This exoplanet, located in the habitable zone of its star, presents conditions that might just support life as we know it. Gliese 163c is not just another celestial body, it represents a potential future, a new chapter in human exploration, and perhaps the answer to the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, JGWST, stands as a pinnacle of astronomical technology equipped with tools specifically designed to observe distant exoplanets with unprecedented clarity and depth. Among its suite of sophisticated instruments, the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, is pivotal. NIRCAM not only captures detailed images of exoplanets, but also analyses their atmosphere by observing the light passing through it when a planet transits its star. This helps identify elements that might indicate habitable conditions or even the presence of life. Another groundbreaking instrument aboard the JWST is the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. MIRI extends the telescope's vision further into the infrared spectrum, which is crucial for studying cooler celestial objects. This capability is vital for examining the thermal characteristics of an exoplanet, providing insights into its surface temperature and conditions that are essential for assessing habitability. Equally important, the near-infrared spectrograph, NIRA spec, allows astronomers to dissect the chemical makeup of an exoplanet's atmosphere by spreading out the starlight into a spectrum. This tool can detect water vapor, methane, and other organic compounds, offering clues about the potential for life as we understand it. With these advanced tools, the James Webb Space Telescope not only seeks to find exoplanets, but also to explore them in a depth that was previously unimaginable, bringing us closer than ever to understanding whether planets like Gliese 163c could truly be called Earth's cousins. The Discovery The James Webb Space Telescope made headlines with its discovery of Gliese 163c, an exoplanet that quickly captured the attention of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. This significant find was announced after JWST's detailed analysis of the star system Gliese 163, located about 49 light-years away in the constellation Dorado. Using its advanced near-infrared spectrograph, JWST was able to detect the chemical signatures and thermal properties that suggest Gliese 163c might be within the star's habitable zone. Initial observations of Gliese 163c indicated several exciting possibilities. The planet's orbit places it at just the right distance from its star to potentially allow liquid water to exist on its surface, an essential criterion for Earth-like life. 
Moreover, the spectral data revealed hints of an atmosphere, which is another critical factor in considering the habitability of a planet. These early findings have laid the groundwork for more detailed studies, making Gliese 163C a prime candidate in the search for life beyond Earth. Criteria for Habitability When scientists search for potentially habitable planets like Gliese Wu 63CC, they primarily focus on three critical criteria – atmosphere, temperature, and the presence of water. Each of these elements plays a pivotal role in supporting life as we understand it. Firstly, an atmosphere is crucial because it can regulate temperature, protect biological entities from cosmic and solar radiation, and provide essential gases that biological processes might require. For instance, an atmosphere rich in oxygen and nitrogen, like Earth's, can support aerobic life forms and water cycles. Secondly, the temperature of a planet is equally significant. It must be neither too hot nor too cold, enabling the existence of liquid water on the planet's surface. This Goldilocks zone is where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist, not so cold that it freezes solid and not so hot that it vaporizes away. Finally, the presence of water is often considered a key marker for life. Water is a solvent in which biochemical reactions occur, crucial for life on Earth. Thus, finding signs of water on Gliese 163C, whether in vapor form in the atmosphere or as liquid on the surface, would be a strong indicator that the planet could potentially be hospitable to life forms. These criteria guide astronomers as they use the JWST to observe exoplanets across the galaxy, searching for those rare worlds where conditions might just be right for life to emerge. Characteristics of Gliese 163c Gliese 163c stands out in the cosmic lineup of exoplanets due to its intriguing characteristics. It orbits its host star, Gliese 163, at a distance that places it squarely within the star's habitable zone, which is the region where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on the planet's surface, a crucial factor for life as we understand it. The planet is approximately 6.9 times the mass of Earth, classifying it as a super-Earth. This size suggests a rocky composition with a more substantial atmosphere than our home planet, which could lead to a greenhouse effect, potentially warming the planet. The orbit of Gliese 163c is particularly fascinating. It completes a full revolution around its star in approximately 26 Earth days. Such a short orbital period indicates that the planet is much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. However, because Gliese 163 is a red dwarf and much cooler than our Sun, this proximity places Gliese 163c in the sweet spot for temperate conditions. Comparatively, Earth orbits the Sun every 365 days, which reflects our moderate distance from a much hotter star. The environmental conditions on Gliese 163c, inferred from its orbit and size, suggest a world that could host thick atmospheric layers capable of trapping heat. If water exists, its state whether vapor, liquid, or ice, would heavily depend on atmospheric composition and surface pressure. In contrast, Earth's well-balanced atmosphere and magnetic field have created a stable environment where water can exist in all three states, supporting a diverse range of life forms. As we continue to study Gliese 163c, understanding these key differences and similarities will help scientists better assess the planet's potential for habitability and life. Technology behind the discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope leverages cutting-edge technology to unveil the secrets of distant worlds like Gliese 163c. Central to its success are several key instruments, each playing a vital role in this cosmic detective work. The near-infrared camera, NIACAM, is JWS's primary imager capturing high-resolution images that bring distant stars and their orbiting planets into clearer view than ever before. This capability is crucial for spotting minute changes in brightness and position that hint at the presence of exoplanets. Additionally, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, provides new insights into the thermal characteristics of Gliese 163c, allowing scientists to analyze the heat signatures that differentiate it from its stellar background. 
Mary's sensitivity to longer wavelengths is ideal for studying cooler objects in space, making it indispensable for assessing the habitability of colder, Earth-like planets. Another essential tool is the near-infrared spectrograph, NearSpec, which can disperse the light from Gliese 163c into its component wavelengths. This spectroscopic analysis helps astronomers determine the planet's atmospheric composition by identifying specific molecular signatures, such as water vapor, methane, or carbon dioxide, key indicators of potential life-supporting environments. These instruments, working in concert, not only pinpoint the location and existence of planets like Gliese 163c, but also provide a detailed look at their atmospheres and possible conditions for life ushering in a new era of exoplanet discovery. Data Interpretation Interpreting the data received from Gliese 163c is a meticulous process that begins with the initial reception of signals captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. These signals, primarily in the form of infrared light, are analyzed using a variety of computational models to determine the planet's atmospheric composition, surface temperature, and potential presence of water vapor, among other vital characteristics, the accuracy of these findings is paramount. To ensure reliability, astronomers employ several validation techniques. First, the data undergoes a peer review process, where multiple independent teams of scientists examine the findings. This collaboration helps to eliminate biases and verify the consistency of the results across different observational methods and software analyses. Additionally, the findings from Gliese 163c are cross-referenced with similar exoplanets data, providing a comparative baseline that bolsters the confidence in the interpretations. By integrating these methods, astronomers not only refine their understanding of Gliese 163c, but also enhance the broader scientific community's trust in these distant world observations. Hypothetical life forms. Gliese 163c, with its position firmly within the habitable zone of its star, ignites the imagination with possibilities of life. The conditions on this exoplanet, which closely mirror those of Earth in terms of temperature and potential water presence, lead us to consider what forms of life might thrive there. Picture, if you will, microbial life forms that have adapted to potentially extreme conditions, which could range from intense solar radiation to varying atmospheric compositions. Moreover, the possibility of more complex multicellular organisms cannot be dismissed. These organisms might possess unique adaptations to their environment, perhaps akin to extremophiles on Earth that thrive in the harshest conditions from deep sea vents to the frozen tundras. The presence of liquid water, a critical ingredient for life as we know it, could mean that aquatic life forms might dominate the biosphere of Gliese, 163c. Imagine creatures that have evolved not only to survive but to flourish in the alien oceans or lakes of this distant world, developing novel biochemistries that challenge our very conception of life. Each hypothesis not only expands our understanding of biology, but also deepens the awe and mystery surrounding our universe's potential to harbor diverse life forms. What this discovery means. The discovery of Gliese 163c as a potentially habitable planet has profound implications, both scientifically and philosophically. From a scientific standpoint, this finding challenges and expands our understanding of habitable environments. It prompts a re-evaluation of how we study planetary atmospheres and climates, pushing us to develop more sophisticated models to predict and comprehend life-supporting conditions. Moreover, Gliese 163c offers a real-time laboratory for testing theories about planetary formation, evolution, and the potential for sustaining life. Philosophically, the discovery stirs profound questions about our place in the universe. The existence of another potentially habitable planet inherently suggests the possibility of life beyond Earth, which could fundamentally alter our understanding of life's uniqueness and rarity. It encourages us to reflect on our responsibilities as a species and the ethical considerations of exploring and potentially interacting with other life forms. The mere presence of such a planet invites us to ponder our solitude or kinship in the cosmos, potentially reshaping human consciousness and our philosophical outlook on life 
existence, and the universe at large. Next steps in research. Building on the groundbreaking discovery of Gliese 163 CE, the scientific community is buzzing with plans for future missions aimed at delving deeper into this potentially habitable exoplanet. These ambitious missions are designed not only to confirm the preliminary findings about the planet's environment, but also to explore its atmosphere in much greater detail. One of the primary objectives is to analyze the atmospheric composition and look for signatures of gases like oxygen and methane that could indicate biological processes. Another focal point of upcoming missions will be to measure Gliese, 163 C's temperature gradients and seasonal variations, providing insights into its climate systems. This will help scientists understand whether conditions on the planet could support liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. By deploying advanced spectroscopy and imaging techniques, these missions will capture high-resolution data, offering a clearer picture of the planet's surface and potential weather phenomena. Furthermore, Astronomers hope to determine the planet's mass with greater precision. This is essential for understanding the planet's gravitational pull and its effect on potential atmospheres. Each piece of data brings us one step closer to answering the tantalizing question. Could Gliese 163c be a second home for humanity, or perhaps already home to its own form of life? Through these efforts, we seek not just to discover, but to profoundly understand what lies beyond our solar system. Learning from Gliese 163c. The discovery of Gliese 163c opens up a wealth of educational opportunities and has the potential to significantly boost public interest in astronomy and exoplanetary science. As educators integrate this new information into curriculums, students and the public alike can experience firsthand the thrilling evolution of our understanding of the universe. The concept of habitable exoplanets, such as Gliese 163c, provides a concrete example of how theoretical astrophysics impacts real-world science and stokes curiosity about life beyond Earth. This discovery also serves as an excellent tool for engaging the public in science. Media coverage and popular science content that discuss Gliese 163c can help demystify the process of scientific discovery, making the field of astronomy more accessible and appealing to a broader audience. It allows for interactive discussions, workshops, and potentially even citizen science projects where amateurs can contribute to ongoing research. The excitement generated by such findings can lead to increased funding and support for further space exploration, ensuring that the study of exoplanets remains a dynamic field at the forefront of scientific inquiry. Advanced Scientific Theories and Models The exploration of Gliese 163c has catalyzed the development of new scientific theories and models that aim to decode the complex environments of distant exoplanets. As astronomers analyze the data gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope, they are beginning to challenge and expand existing models of planetary habitability. For instance, the traditional model that categorizes a planet's potential for life based on its distance from the star is being nuanced with more complex variables such as atmospheric composition, magnetic fields, and orbital stability. These refined models consider how the unique characteristics of Gliese 163c like its atmospheric chemistry and potential geothermal activity, could support life in ways that differ from Earth. The study of this exoplanet also allows scientists to test theories of planet formation and evolution in the context of different star systems. This not only enriches our understanding of how planetary systems develop, but also widens our search criteria for life-sustaining planets across the galaxy. By integrating observations from Gliese 163c into broader astrophysical models, we are on the brink of potentially discovering new types of habitable environments, fundamentally shifting our understanding of where life could exist in the universe. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on your screen right now. So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise 
is half the sky. NASA has released images of a never-before-seen phenomenon where a star named Betelgeuse blew its top off and ejected a gigantic portion of its surface mass. The event is known as surface mass ejection, SME, and according to the space agency, the ejection was 400 billion times the mass of an ordinary solar flare from our sun. Scientists term the event as watching stellar evolution in real time. A star blasting off such huge chunks of its physical form has surprised many. The catastrophic explosion of this super red giant is upsetting a lot of what we know in the universe. Why did Betelgeuse blow off its top? How will that affect the universe? Let's find out. Constellations are made up of many stars and are arranged in accordance with mythology and legends. They are still used for navigation today. One such star is Betelgeuse, which is among the largest and brightest stars in our night sky. The brilliant ruby-red glittering star known as Betelgeuse is located in the upper right shoulder of the winter constellation Orion the Hunter. When viewed attentively, though, astronomers recognize it as a seething monster with a 400-day-long heartbeat of regular pulsations. Because of its dismal orange-red color, Betelgeuse is easily identified. It's ideal for convincing doubters that stars do, in fact, have different colors. It is also known as Alpha Orionis and is the second brightest star in the constellation after the blue supergiant Rigel. Betelgeuse is an intriguing object for star studies and observations due to its variable nature as well as its odd name. Frequently, stars with the name Alpha are the brightest stars in their constellations, even though Rigel, Orion's other bright star, is brighter. Betelgeuse is Alpha Orionis due to its name, brightness, size, and reddish hue. It is also one of the most well-known stars. It's noteworthy to note that this star served as the model for both the character and the movie Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is the seventh brightest star that can be seen from most of North America, Europe, and Canada, and it is the tenth brightest star overall in the sky. Earth is relatively close to Betelgeuse. Astronomers are unable to pinpoint Betelgeuse's exact distance from Earth, although they believe it to be between 430 and 724 light years away. Betelgeuse is the brightest red supergiant star and is closest to Earth in our galaxy. There are just 200 red supergiant stars that have been identified. The Sun has a radius that is around 764 times larger than Betelgeuse. If this star replaced our Sun in the solar system, it would reach past the asteroid belt and even beyond Jupiter. This suggests that Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury would all be completely absorbed. Betelgeuse is 16 teen, 112 times as massive as the Sun. This supergiant has 126,000 solar luminosities and is visible from 548 light years away. This star has a surface temperature of 3,600 degrees Kelvin, making it cooler than the Sun. Only about 13.3% of Betelgeuse's radiant energy is visible light. If human eyes could see lights at all wavelengths, Betelgeuse would overtake Sirius as the brightest star in our night sky. Betelgeuse loses about one solar mass every 10,000 years. The red star is surrounded by a nebula because this material is being ejected unevenly from the star in all directions. A cloud of material 250 times larger than this star surrounds Betelgeuse. The size of this nebula is also thought to be 30 astronomical units or 30 times the Sun-Earth distance. The Sun and Neptune, the furthest planet in the solar system, are separated by this distance. Our solar system's Sun regularly ejects mass into space, which is known as solar flares. However, the Sun only exhales tiny fragments of its outer atmosphere, known as the corona, giving the phenomenon the name coronal mass ejection, CME. As a result, coronal mass ejections and surface mass ejections can occur at separate times. When a star ejects a portion of its unstable outer atmosphere, it causes a CME known as the corona. CMEs from our solar system occur very frequently and can have an impact on Earth and its inhabitants. CMEs can travel more than 1,800 MES while ejecting magnetic fields and plasma into space, which allows them to occasionally arrive on Earth in a matter of hours. A CME can disrupt and harm Earth's satellites and power infrastructures when it occurs on the side of the Sun that faces the planet, and it occasionally puts astronauts in orbit in danger. The recent discovery shed light on the exceptional cause of Betelgeuse's dimming in 2019. 
The material that the star ejected exploded into space, cooled, and produced a cloud of cosmic dust that hid Betelgeuse's brightness from Earth-based observers. Additionally, Betelgeuse's renowned steady pulsing pattern has been altered. The CME on Betelgeuse is unusual because it released 400 billion times more mass than a typical CME, which caused the star to tremble like a dish of gelatin desserts, according to a NASA news release. According to Andrea Dupree, an astronomer of the Center for Astrophysics, the star's internal convection cells may be in disorder, while the photosphere, which is what we perceive as the star's surface, struggles to reconstruct itself. Astronomers have been tracking the star's constant pattern for the past 200 years, yet it no longer exists. All red giants, including Betelgeuse, are perishing, and being able to observe this process will allow researchers to learn a lot about the evolution of stars. The majority of stars in the cosmos are powered by nuclear fusion, which eventually burns out and causes a star to undergo a series of intriguing stellar changes before it finally perishes. When a star is born, it is made of hydrogen, which under the force of gravity fuses together in the star's core to create helium. In a nuclear explosion, a lot of heat and light energy is typically released during the fusion process. This energy travels to the star's surface and is released as a photon into space. As the star ages, its primary fuel hydrogen runs out and helium starts to combine with carbon to form carbon. After the helium is used up, neon will eventually combine with carbon to form iron. When this happens, the fusion of neon with iron absorbs the energy instead of releasing it. Because there is nothing to oppose the star's very powerful gravity when iron begins to fuse, the star collapses in on itself, giving rise to a supernova explosion. A supernova, one of nature's most powerful forces, can generate more energy than 10 billion suns. Stars change hue during the course of their existence, from the youngest, hottest blue forms to the older, cooler red varieties, depending on what stage of their stellar evolution they have reached. The Greek scientist Ptolemy, 168 AD, strangely referred to Betelgeuse's color as having a ruddy hue. Three centuries earlier, Chinese astronomers had characterized the star as having a yellow appearance, possibly implying that Betelgeuse was formerly a yellow supergiant. Larger stars frequently burn through their hydrogen faster and die off sooner. Despite being only roughly 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is certainly nearing the end of its lifespan. Our Sun, on the other hand, is still in its prime at approximately 5 billion years old. Furthermore, because Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, it's possible that a supernova will occur soon. Betelgeuse undergoes two dimming and brightening cycles, the second of which occurs approximately every five years and lasts approximately 100 days. The star's outer shell is thought to expand and contract during this cycle, changing the star's circumference and average temperature in accordance with each step of the cycle. Astronomers may gain a better understanding of how red stars lose mass in their last days before exploding in a bright supernova from Betelgeuse's explosion. As Dupree notes, we've never seen a huge mass ejection on the surface of a star before. We are left with something going on that we don't completely understand. It's a totally new phenomenon that we can observe directly and resolve surface details with Hubble. We're watching stellar evolution in real time, but it's unclear whether this development portends Betelgeuse's impending supernova explosion. Because the results are so unusual, NASA issues a warning that Betelgeuse may not have reached the end of its life, even if it is nearing the end. Cosmic time is long, and red supergiants die quickly by comparison. According to NASA, Betelgeuse will explode in the next 100,000 years. Betelgeuse has been the focus of intense study since the first century BC. More recently, a scientist by the name of Serafina Nance and her team sought to ascertain the potential timing of the supernova explosions of red supergiants like Betelgeuse. To find out how a star that large would behave over time, Nance and her team ran multiple simulations using Betelgeuse as a model. They then contrasted their findings with field observations. Why did Betelgeuse diminish suddenly and out of sync with its regular cycle when it won't likely explode for another 100,000 years? Betelgeuse was evicted from its home in the Orion OB-1 Association, which comprises the stars in Orion's belt, and has been seen moving through the interstellar medium at a speed of 30 diachinses. More than four light years wide, 
A bow shock is being produced by the speeding star. By mid-February 2020, Betelgeuse had lost around three times as much brightness, from magnitude 0.5 to magnitude 1.7, after beginning to decline sharply in October 2019. By February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had been stable for almost 10 days, and the star had started to brighten once more. However, Betelgeuse appeared to have stopped dimming completely five days later, effectively ending the dimming episode. Given that there were no significant changes in the infrared on February 24, 2020, it appeared that the recent visual fading was unrelated to the anticipated core collapse. Another study that day concluded that the star's dimming was most likely caused by a cloud of large grain circumstellar dust. Dust absorption is ruled out from having a significant effect in a study that uses measurements at sub-millimeter wavelengths, but the fading appears to be caused by large star spots. Further analysis showed a dramatic rise in Betelgeuse's brightness between May and August. Betelgeuse is so close to the Sun that it is almost impossible to see from Earth before 2020, when Betelgeuse will be in conjunction with the Sun. It was plus 0.4 brilliance according to the observations made with the Stereo A satellite in June and July of 2020. The star had faded by 0.5 since its previous ground-based observation in April. Everyone was surprised by this because the maximum and subsequent minimum were expected to occur in August-September 2020 and around April 2021, respectively. Betelgeuse's brilliance was known to shift wildly, making predictions difficult. The fading seems to indicate that a second dimming event may occur much sooner than expected. The finding of a second dust cloud coming from Betelgeuse, which was linked to in June 2020, it was suggested that a cool patch on its photosphere might be the cause of the dust. And in August, a second independent investigation confirmed the initial hypothesis. The dust is thought to have been created by the gas that the star had spilled. According to studies done in 2022 using the Hubble Space Telescope, a clouding dust may have been created by a surface mass ejection. The material was ejected from the star's surface millions of kilometers away, where it cooled, compacted, and formed the star's fading dust. The broken photosphere, which was roughly several times as heavy as our moon, went off into space, cooled, and created a dust cloud that covered the star from the perspective of watchers on Earth. The fading, which began in late 2019 and continued for a few months, was plainly discernible even by backyard observers who observed the star's brightness change. Even more remarkable, the 400-day pulsation rate of the supergiant has vanished. Since around 200 years ago, astronomers have been tracking this cycle by analyzing changes in Betelgeuse's surface motions and brightness variations. Its disturbance reveals the extent of the blast. Astronomers have now developed a potential theory to account for the disruption. The star is also slowly but surely rebuilding strength, and the photosphere is regenerating. The star's normal cycle is being thrown off, and the interior is vibrating like a bell that has been slammed. A massive stellar surface mass ejection has never before been observed. There is still something going on that we don't fully comprehend. We may directly observe this brand new phenomenon and use Hubble to discern surface features. Real-time observation of the development of stars. What time will it occur? Probably not in our lifetimes, but in fact, no one really knows. It could be tomorrow or a million years from now. Will Earth be destroyed by the Betelgeuse supernova? No, the explosion of Betelgeuse won't affect or partially end life on Earth because it will occur too distant from the planet. Astronomers estimate that for a supernova to be dangerous to humans, we would need to be 50 light years distant from it. Also, Betelgeuse is over 10 times further away. As we well know instead, everybody on Earth at the same time will be treated to an extraordinarily breathtaking view of a very, very bright star in the night sky. Finally, because of Betelgeuse's vicinity, astronomers will be able to study the star when it undergoes a supernova. Betelgeuse is not now visible in the night sky, so don't go looking for it there. Even if it went supernova right now, we wouldn't see much of it, except it is in the midday sky during August. Betelgeuse might have already gone supernova over 529 years ago, and we haven't yet seen its light. Scientists are excited about the chance to view Betelgeuse's epic eruption and recuperation. 
In the interim, the James Webb Space Telescope of NASA may be able to track the ejected Betelgeuse material as it travels across space while the Hubble Telescope continues to study the star. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind blowing videos about space. Finally, tonight here, remembering Apollo 11 astronaut Michael Collins and his journey to the moon. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Imagine leaving your footprint on the moon's dusty surface, uncovering its spooky secrets, and experiencing the deep solitude of space. Meet Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and the unsung hero Michael Collins, who orbited the moon alone, becoming the loneliest man in history. Let's step into the shoes of the bravest astronauts on Earth as we take you on an unforgettable journey to the moon with Apollo 11. The medical component, the medical considerations, uh, become extremely important, perhaps paramount to such a trip. The Apollo 11 space mission. In 1969, something amazing happened that would be remembered as one of the biggest achievements in human history. Three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, went on a mission called Apollo 11, which was all about doing something no one had ever done before landing on the moon. People all around the world watched on their TVs, holding their breath as Armstrong and Aldrin actually walked on the moon, leaving their footprints behind. Armstrong said something really special as he stepped onto the moon. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. This wasn't just a cool adventure. It was a big deal because it showed that humans could explore not just Earth, but also outer space. The Apollo 11 mission made everyone dream bigger, proving that with teamwork and determination, we can reach beyond the stars. Michael Collins, who piloted the spaceship while the other two explored the moon, might not have walked on the moon, but his role was super important too. Starting with Michael Collins, the command module pilot, we learn about his role and the spooky secrets he encountered while orbiting the moon. Michael Collins' role and revelations. While Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were making history by walking on the moon, there was another hero, Michael Collins, who played a huge part from behind the scenes. Collins was the pilot of the command module, which means he stayed in orbit around the moon, all by himself, while the other two explored the lunar surface. Imagine being the only person not on Earth and not on the moon, but floating in space in between. Even though he didn't get to step on the moon, Collins had a super important job. He had to make sure everything was ready for his teammates to come back safely. Collins once talked about the spooky secrets and strange feelings he experienced during this lonely mission. He was the vital link, making sure Armstrong and Aldrin could return home. What spooky and strange feelings did Collins experience? Keep watching, we will get back to that in a moment. This curiosity about his experiences leads us to explore our fascination with the moon, a celestial body that has captivated humanity for centuries. Human fascination with the moon. For as long as humans have looked up at the night sky, the moon has captured our imagination and curiosity. It's been a mysterious and beautiful presence, lighting up our nights and influencing stories, myths, and legends. Long before we had modern technology, our ancestors used simple tools to study the moon, charting its phases, and figuring out things like lunar eclipses. They even believed the moon could affect our moods and the tides of the oceans. This fascination didn't stop with just looking and wondering, it sparked a burning desire to visit the moon. At first, we sent unmanned probes to learn about the moon's surface and what it's made of. These early missions laid the groundwork for the ultimate dream, sending humans to walk on the moon. The Apollo 11 mission was a huge leap towards understanding our place in the universe. As we dig deeper, we uncover the competitive backdrop of the Cold War, which propelled the United States to embark on the ambitious Apollo program. The Space Race and Apollo program, two powerful countries, the United States and the Soviet Union, were in a huge competition called the Space Race. It was all about who could do the most interesting things in space first. The United States wanted to do something really big, so they started the Apollo program with a super ambitious goal, 
to send a human to the moon and bring them back safely, all before the 1960s ended. It was a big challenge and needed a lot of money and smart people to make it happen. They had to do lots of tests, like flying around the Earth and practicing landing on the moon without actually going there. This was all part of getting ready for the big moment. The Apollo program wasn't just about beating the Soviet Union. It was about showing what humans can do when we set our minds to it. And guess what? They did it. Apollo 11 was the mission where they finally made it happen, landing on the moon in 1969. This initiative aimed to achieve the unthinkable, landing a man on the moon and bringing him back safely. Apollo 11 mission launch and lunar landing. On July 16, 1969, a giant rocket called Saturn V blasted off from Earth with the three astronauts on board. Imagine sitting on top of a huge rocket, shooting up into the sky and heading to the moon. That's exactly what these brave astronauts did. After traveling through space, they got close to the moon. Then, Armstrong and Aldrin climbed into a smaller spacecraft called the Eagle, leaving Collins orbiting the moon in the main spaceship. The world held its breath as the Eagle slowly descended to the moon's surface. And then, on July 20, 1969, history was made. Armstrong stepped out and walked on the moon, followed by Aldrin. They spent a couple of hours walking around, collecting rocks, and even planting an American flag. Meanwhile, Collins was waiting for them in space, ready to guide them home. While Armstrong and Aldrin explored the lunar surface, Collins experienced a unique form of solitude in orbit. Michael Collins' unique experience. Imagine being completely alone, not just in a room, but in the vastness of space, orbiting the moon while your friends are exploring its surface. This was Michael Collins' reality during the Apollo 11 mission. While Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were making history with their moonwalks, Collins was experiencing something no one else ever had the profound solitude of space. But it wasn't just loneliness. Collins went on a psychological journey, experiencing moments of eerie silence that could spook anyone. Every time he orbited to the far side of the moon, he lost all contact with Earth, becoming the most isolated person ever. Yet, Collins didn't let fear take over. Instead, he found a kind of peacefulness in the solitude. He knew he had an essential job to do, and his focus was on the mission. Collins' experience teaches us about the power of the human spirit to find calm and purpose in the most daunting situations. As Collins orbited alone, his psychological journey revealed insights into the interconnectedness and fragility of life on Earth, return to Earth and legacy. After their incredible adventure on the moon, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins made the journey back to Earth in their spacecraft. On July 24, 1969, they splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, marking the end of the historic Apollo 11 mission. Can you imagine the excitement and relief they felt, along with everyone back on Earth, knowing they had safely returned from such a daring trip? The whole world celebrated their achievement. These three astronauts were heroes, greeted with cheers, parades, and admiration everywhere they went. Their mission showed what humans can do when we work together, reaching beyond our limits to explore new worlds, Finally, we contemplate the existential questions that Collins, and indeed all of humanity, face in the wake of such a monumental achievement. Existential Reflections Imagine being all alone in space, like Michael Collins was during the Apollo 11 mission. This unique experience led him to some deep thinking about big questions that many of us wonder about. Who are we? What's our place in this huge universe? While Collins orbited the moon, cut off from everyone else, he had a lot of time to think about these things. It's kind of like looking at the stars from your backyard, but way more intense. He was right there in the middle of space, seeing Earth from far away and realizing how small and connected everything is. This journey made him think about how important it is to take care of our planet and each other. These reflections weren't just about science and exploring new places. They were about understanding our role in the universe and how every one of us matters. Collins' experience in space showed him, and us, that looking after our world and working together are key to our future. It's pretty amazing how a trip to the moon can make you see Earth in a whole new way and think about these big questions, isn't it? We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on the screen right now. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running.
I am Buzz Aldrin. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And I was the lunar module pilot on Apollo 11. We have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Buzz Aldrin, one of the few men to have walked on the moon, possesses unique insights about it thanks to his experience as a lunar astronaut. Later in life, he shared intriguing observations, hinting at mysterious entities or phenomena close enough to be observed on the moon. Does Aldrin's observations challenge conventional knowledge about the moon? I thought it was a good idea in front of the TV to bounce around and to demonstrate how easy a guy could uh, move around or a gal could move around on, on the moon. Is the moon not what we think it is? Let's learn more about this person. Buzz Aldrin, an astronaut renowned for his academic prowess, including a PhD from MIT, played an instrumental role in the historic Apollo 11 mission as the lunar module pilot. As the pilot of the lunar module, Aldrin had a massive job. He had to land on the moon and then make sure they could get back to Earth safely. This guy wasn't just very intelligent. He was also a top fighter pilot in the Korean War. His mix of brain power and flying skills was key to the mission's success. But there's more. We're also looking at how Aldrin kept his cool under pressure. Imagine this, you're descending to the moon and you're hit with computer alarms, unknown boulders on the surface, and your fuel's running low. Sounds scary, right? Well, Aldrin, alongside Neil Armstrong, handled it like a pro. His ability to stay calm and make quick, smart decisions was crucial, especially during those tense moments. Thanks to him, the Eagle landed safely on the moon. Stay tuned as we explore the amazing journey of Buzz Aldrin on Apollo 11. The historic moon landing. Guess what? Buzz Aldrin was the second guy to walk on the moon right after Neil Armstrong. When he stepped onto the moon, he didn't just make history. He became a part of it, but walking on the moon was just one part of his mission. Aldrin was super busy up there, setting up all sorts of science experiments. These weren't just any experiments. They were designed to help us learn everything about the moon, like what it's made of and what its surface is like. Thanks to him, we know a lot more about the moon now. Aldrin also did something really important. He planted the American flag there. This wasn't just about being patriotic. It was a big moment showing what humans can achieve when we aim for the stars. And there's the special thing he did that not many people know about. While he was on the moon, Aldrin took some time for a personal spiritual moment. He actually took communion. It's a reminder that behind all the science and exploration, there's a human touch. Let's talk about how Aldrin described the moon. He called it magnificent desolation. What a way to describe it. It's like he was saying the moon is incredibly beautiful, but also really empty and quiet. It must have been such an unreal experience to stand there in this huge, silent place, so far from Earth. Space sickness experience. Let's dive into something that is about Buzz Aldrin that is not talked about much. His experience with space sickness during the Apollo 11 mission. You know, being an astronaut is not just about the cool stuff like floating in zero gravity or walking on the moon. There are some tough challenges too, and space sickness is definitely one of them. You can compare it with seasickness if you have ever had it before. Now, when Aldrin was up there in space, he actually got really sick. But here's the thing. Back then, nobody really talked about it. It wasn't until later, in his autobiography and some interviews, that Aldrin opened up about this experience. This was a big deal because it showed a side of astronauts we don't often see, their human, vulnerable side. Space sickness, or what they call motion sickness in space, can be pretty rough. Imagine feeling dizzy, nauseous, and just all around terrible while you're trying to do your job millions of miles away from Earth. It's not fun. Aldrin dealing with this while on such an important mission just shows how tough and resilient astronauts have to be. But why is this important? Well, it reminds us that astronauts are people too. They face challenges and have to overcome them just like the rest of us. Aldrin sharing his story of space sickness helps us understand and appreciate the real, human side of space exploration. It's not always smooth sailing or smooth flying in this case. Theories on extraterrestrial life and moons far side. Now let's talk about something that's really out of this world. Buzz Aldrin has dropped some hints that have got everyone talking. He suggested that there might be hidden structures or even bases on the far side of the moon. This could mean something huge like ancient civilizations or extraterrestrial activity. This idea isn't just some sci-fi fantasy. 
It's coming from a man who's actually walked on the moon. So when Aldrin talks about these possibilities, people listen. His comments have sparked a ton of interest and loads of speculation, not just among space enthusiasts, but even in the scientific community. Now think about it. The far side of the moon is this mysterious place that we've never seen from Earth. So when someone like Aldrin hints at something hidden over there, it's no wonder everyone's imagination goes into hyperdrive. Could there be structures we've never seen before? Signs of ancient moon visitors? Maybe even evidence of aliens? These ideas have sent people rushing to look at lunar images and data, searching for any clues that might support Aldrin's suggestions. But here's the thing. While some people claim they've found evidence of weird structures or unnatural formations on the moon, a lot of it could be our brains playing tricks on us, seeing patterns that aren't really there. That said, the fact that a seasoned astronaut like Aldrin even entertains these ideas adds a serious dose of intrigue to the whole discussion. Observation of a mysterious object in space. During the historic Apollo 11 mission, Aldrin reported something extraordinary. He observed an object in space that he couldn't identify. This wasn't just a piece of their spacecraft or some random space junk. It was something different, something that even a seasoned astronaut like Aldrin couldn't recognize. Now, imagine this, you're thousands of miles away from Earth in the vast emptiness of space, and you see something mysterious floating out there. That's exactly what happened to Aldrin. This wasn't a quick glimpse either. He saw an object that seemed to move in a controlled way, not just tumbling through space like Debris. This sighting was unusual enough to catch the attention of the entire crew. This sighting sparked a lot of conversations and theories, especially about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. It's one of those incidents that make you wonder what's really out there. Was it an optical illusion, a reflection, or something more? Some space enthusiasts even dared to ask if it could be evidence of intelligent life, taking an interest in humanity's first journey to the moon. Aldrin has been open about this experience, discussing it in interviews and being transparent about what he saw and felt. He didn't jump to any wild conclusions, but he also didn't dismiss what he saw as nothing. This account from Apollo 11 adds a layer of mystery and excitement to the mission's story. Belief in extraterrestrial life. Aldrin has some other fascinating thoughts about life beyond Earth. Think about it. The universe is incredibly huge, with billions of galaxies, each filled with billions of stars. Around those stars orbit countless planets. Aldrin thinks that in all that immense space, it's almost more unlikely that Earth is the only place with life. He's not just dreaming big. He's basing his ideas on the probabilities given the size of the cosmos. But Aldrin doesn't stop at just believing there's life out there. He's a big advocate for continuing to explore space, to push further into the unknown. Why? Because he thinks that by exploring, we might actually find other life forms. Imagine the breakthroughs and the leaps in understanding we could achieve if we encountered life beyond Earth. Aldrin's perspective is really a call to action for humanity. He's urging us to keep exploring space, not just to satisfy our curiosity, but also to connect with potential life out there. This isn't just about launching rockets and satellites. It's about a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. Life on the moon, possibilities and challenges. Now, when we think of the moon, we usually picture this barren, desolate landscape with extreme conditions. It's a place with no atmosphere, extreme temperature swings, and bombarded by cosmic rays and solar winds. Not exactly the kind of spot you'd think life would call home, right? But there's more to this story. It's this wild idea that life can actually hitch a ride across the cosmos, potentially even reaching the moon. This could happen through asteroids, comets, or even interstellar dust. Imagine tiny life forms or organic materials getting a lift from Earth or other planets and ending up on the moon. But that's not the only way life could make it to the moon. Human activity could also play a part We've been sending spacecraft and landers to the moon since the 1950s. Now, what if some of these missions accidentally carried microscopic stowaways? It's entirely possible. In 2019, an Israeli spacecraft called Bereshit crashed on the moon. But it wasn't alone. It had a payload that included thousands of tardigrades. If you don't know what tardigrades are, they're these tiny, tough animals that can survive extreme conditions. We're talking about surviving in space. So there's a chance these little guys could be living it up on the moon right now. Now, we're not saying there's a thriving ecosystem up there. If there's any life on the moon, it's probably super simple, like bacteria or fungi. And it would have to be in very isolated spots, like inside rocks or in ice at the poles. While it's unlikely that the moon has its own native life forms, 
the idea that life could hitch a ride that isn't so far-fetched. It's these kinds of possibilities that make space exploration so exciting. We're constantly learning and re-evaluating our understanding of life in the cosmos. What do you think? Do you believe in Buzz Aldrin's observations? Could it possibly be any life beyond our planet, or even on our neighbor the moon? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. We are looking for signs of life. We have ignition and we have liftoff. In the vast, silent expanse of space, a lone explorer travels further than any other human-made object in history. Launched in 1977, with a mission that was supposed to last just five years, Voyager 1 has defied all expectations, pushing the boundaries of human achievement and curiosity. For over four decades, it has been our silent ambassador to the cosmos, carrying messages from Earth to the unknown. But recently, something unexpected happened. This pioneer of space, now billions of kilometers from home, started sending back signals that have puzzled the brightest minds at NASA. What are these strange signals? Are we on the verge of a new discovery, or is Voyager 1 revealing the limits of our reach? Stay tuned as we dive into the mystery of Voyager 1's latest messages from the edge of space. What will we learn from this distant traveler? And how much longer can we keep the conversation going before silence takes over? The sun will have a fate such as this, where at the end its outer layers of gas will escape into space. The summer of 1977. In the summer of 1977, an opportunity arose that comes once in a lifetime, or more accurately, once every 176 years. This was the year NASA embarked on one of its most ambitious missions, the Voyager program. It began with the launch of Voyager 2 on August 20th, a date that would mark the beginning of humanity's grand tour of the outer solar system. But the story doesn't start there. It was a culmination of years of planning, all leading up to a narrow window when the outer planets aligned just right. This alignment allowed a spacecraft to hop from one planet to the next, using minimal fuel, in what's known as a gravity assist or slingshot maneuver. It was an ingenious solution to an otherwise insurmountable distance problem. Just a few weeks after Voyager 2's departure, its twin, Voyager 1, followed suit. Though launched second, Voyager 1 was destined to travel faster and farther, thanks to its unique trajectory. Both spacecraft, nearly identical twins, were engineered to withstand the harsh conditions of space and equipped with instruments designed to study the planets they would encounter. Weighing about as much as a small car, these probes were the epitome of human ingenuity and the embodiment of our desire to explore. The significance of their launch timing cannot be overstated. This fortuitous alignment allowed Voyager 1 and 2 to embark on a path that would see them visit Jupiter, Saturn, and for Voyager 2, Uranus and Neptune, providing humanity with its first close-up views of these distant giants. This grand tour, made possible by the planetary alignment and the gravitational slingshot effect, would forever change our understanding of the outer solar system. It was a bold plan, one that would leverage every ounce of momentum and every bit of data the voyagers could muster, as they set out to the stars, carrying the sights and sounds of Earth on their golden records, hoping to share a bit of our world with whatever, or whoever, might find them. The Early Discoveries As Voyager 1 hurtled through the cold void of space, it approached the gas giant Jupiter in 1978, marking the beginning of a series of groundbreaking discoveries that would forever change our understanding of the outer solar system. With its cameras trained on this behemoth of swirling gases, Voyager 1 embarked on an extensive study, capturing detailed images that unveil the intricate beauty and complex dynamics of Jupiter and its moons. It was during this close encounter that Voyager 1 made one of its first major discoveries, the faint, dusty rings of Jupiter, a feature previously unknown to scientists. These ghostly rings challenged our perceptions and showcased the diversity of planetary ring systems, but the surprises didn't stop there. Voyager 1's journey brought it closer to Jupiter's moons, revealing two previously unseen moons, adding new members to Jupiter's already impressive family. Each of these discoveries provided insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system's planets and their satellites, opening new avenues for research and speculation. The spacecraft's adventure continued as it set its sights on Saturn, the jewel of the solar system, with its magnificent rings and numerous moons. However, to get the best possible view and scientific data, 
for Ada One's trajectory needed a critical adjustment. This maneuver was not just a testament to the precision and ingenuity of NASA's engineers, but also a necessary step to avoid a potentially mission-ending collision with Titan, Saturn's largest moon. As Voyager 1 completed its flyby of Saturn, it discovered four new moons, further expanding our knowledge of the Saturnian system. The spacecraft also sent back detailed images of Saturn's rings, providing an unprecedented look at their structure and composition. Interstellar mission commencement in 1990. In 1990, a remarkable shift occurred for Voyager 1, transitioning from a trailblazer of our solar system to an envoy to the stars. After its groundbreaking explorations of Jupiter and Saturn, this intrepid spacecraft embarked on a journey that would take it to the very edge of our solar system and beyond, into the vast, uncharted territories of interstellar space. This phase of its mission marked not just a continuation of its voyage, but a leap into the unknown, a testament to human curiosity and our insatiable hunger for knowledge. One of Voyager 1's most awe-inspiring contributions during this time was the capture of the family photo of our solar system. Positioned about 6 billion kilometers away from the Sun, it turned its camera one last time to take a series of images that would encapsulate the entirety of our home system in a single poignant frame. This mosaic of the planets, seen as mere dots of light against the vastness of space, offered a humbling perspective on our place in the universe famously inspiring Carl Sagan to reflect on the pale blue dot that is Earth. Understanding the need to preserve its limited resources for the long journey ahead, NASA made the decision to turn off Voyager 1's cameras after this monumental task. This was a calculated sacrifice, trading the ability to visually document its journey for the chance to extend its life and continue sending back valuable data. This pivotal moment underscored the shift in Voyager 1's mission from observation to endurance, as it powered down its eyes and ventured into the darkness, guided by the hope of discovering the secrets of interstellar space. As Voyager 1 pressed forward, it continued to communicate with Earth, its signals traversing the vast distance to bring insights back to those of us waiting eagerly for any news from the frontier. The spacecraft, now a silent witness to the cosmos, continues to traverse the boundary of the heliosphere, the protective bubble that marks the edge of the Sun's influence. In doing so, Voyager 1 has not only expanded our understanding of the solar system, but has also begun to peel back the layers of the interstellar medium, offering glimpses into the composition and dynamics of the space between the stars. Exiting the solar system By 2012, this intrepid explorer had done the unthinkable. It had officially exited the solar system, venturing into the mysterious realm of interstellar space. This monumental achievement wasn't just a milestone for the spacecraft, but a historic event for humanity, marking the first time a human-made object had ever left the solar system. The announcement made by NASA in 2013 sent waves of excitement and wonder through the scientific community and the world. Voyager 1's transition into interstellar space was not just a testament to human ingenuity and the thirst for exploration. It symbolized the breaking of celestial boundaries, Imagine, a spacecraft designed with technology from the 1970s had now become humanity's most distant messenger, floating in the vastness of space far beyond the influence of our sun. This was no small feat. Crossing into interstellar space meant that Voyager 1 had moved beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind from the sun is stopped by the interstellar medium, marking the edge of our solar system's influence. Voyager 1's journey into this unknown territory provides scientists with invaluable data about what lies beyond the protective bubble of our sun's wind and magnetic field. But what does it mean to exit the solar system? It means that Voyager 1 is now in a place where the sun's warmth and light do not reach, where the dynamics of space are governed not by our solar system, but by the galaxy itself. It's in a region where no spacecraft has ever ventured, sending back data from a place more remote than we had previously been able to explore. Every bit of information it sends us from this uncharted territory helps us understand more about the nature of the universe. Continued communication and data transmission Despite being engineered with a lifespan of only five years, Voyager 1 has shattered all expectations, continuing to serve as a vital link between the cosmos and Earth for over four decades. This achievement isn't just a testament to the spacecraft's design but a beacon of human ingenuity and our unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Since its launch in 1977, Voyager 1 has been our eyes and ears, transmitting data across the unfathomable distance of interstellar space. 
as it ventured past giant gas planets and their mysterious moons. Voyager 1 relayed back to Earth stunning images and invaluable scientific data, reshaping our understanding of the solar system. Its journey has provided us with the first ever family portrait of our planetary neighborhood, a visual testament to our place in the universe. But Voyager 1's mission extends beyond mere observation. Embedded within its structure is the Golden Record, a time capsule intended for any potential extraterrestrial intelligence that might encounter the spacecraft. This record carries the sounds, images, and messages of Earth, a hopeful gesture of communication across the stars, strange signals, and current status. In the latest chapter of Voyager 1's epic saga, an enigma has emerged from the void. This season Voyager has begun beaming back a series of strange, indecipherable signals, igniting a whirlwind of speculation and intrigue among the scientific community. These anomalous transmissions, unlike anything the spacecraft has sent before, have left NASA's top scientists scratching their heads, wondering about the nature of these cryptic messages from the edge of interstellar space. Despite the spacecraft's advanced age having far surpassed its expected lifespan, the antenna of Voyager 1 remains in a state of remarkable health, faithfully maintaining its connection with Earth. This enduring link across the cosmic ocean allows Voyager 1 to still receive and execute commands sent from its terrestrial handlers, a small but significant reassurance amidst the growing mystery. As these puzzling signals continue to arrive, NASA is doubling down on its efforts to decipher them. Are they simply the result of an unknown glitch in the spacecraft's aging systems, or could they be indicative of something more profound that Voyager 1 is experiencing in the uncharted territories of interstellar space? The implications are vast and varied, sparking intense discussion and research within the scientific community. The intrigue of Voyager 1's situation is heightened by its historical mission, which has already reshaped our understanding of the outer planets and the very nature of space beyond our solar system. Now, as it sends back these strange signals, it beckons us to look beyond our current understanding, challenging us to think differently about the universe and our place within it. The Golden Record Amidst the cosmic silence, Voyager 1 carries with it a message from Earth, encapsulated within a gold-plated disk known as the Golden Record. This disk is not just a message. It's a time capsule, an interstellar greeting card designed to communicate the story of our world to extraterrestrial beings. Imagine a record player floating through space, carrying the very essence of humanity on its grooves. Crafted with meticulous care, the Golden Record holds over 35 sounds from Earth, these are not just random noises, but a carefully curated selection intended to depict life on our planet. From the haunting calls of humpback whales to the exhilarating sounds of a train passing by, each sound is a thread in the rich tapestry of life on Earth. But the golden record holds more than just sounds. It's also a visual archive containing 116 images of daily life on Earth. These images are a testament to our diversity and unity, showcasing the vastness of our landscapes the complexity of our societies, and the simplicity of human moments. They depict who we are, what we look like, and how we live, work, and play. And then there's the music. Over an hour of Western pop music, alongside traditional music from various cultures around the world, forms a sonic bridge across the cosmos. This eclectic mix is a celebration of our artistic diversity, reaching out across the void in the universal language of melody and rhythm. Perhaps most poignant are the greeting messages from numerous former U.S. presidents, translated into 55 different languages. This polyphony of human voices, extending a hand of friendship into the unknown, reflects our innate desire to connect, communicate, and understand. Challenges and the future of Voyager 1 As Voyager 1 continues its unparalleled journey through the cosmos, it faces an inevitable reality that challenges the very essence of long-distance space exploration. As it ventures further into the void beyond the sun's influence and into the cold expanse of interstellar space, the signals that once briskly traveled between Earth and the spacecraft now take longer, with messages averaging a two-day journey each way. This increasing delay marks not just the physical distance but also a growing gap in our ability to maintain a lifeline to humanity's most distant ambassador. This challenge isn't just about time, it's about the fragility of connection in the vastness of space. The further Voyager 1 gets, the more attenuated and precarious this connection becomes. There's a haunting realization that comes with this. Should something go wrong, there's no backup plan, no mission to repair or rescue Voyager 1. It's out there on its own, 
carrying on its mission in the silent vastness reliant on systems designed decades ago. NASA, while hopeful, is pragmatic about the situation. The agency is pushing the limits of its ingenuity to keep the conversation going with Voyager 1, knowing all too well that each message received is a victory against the odds. The spacecraft's enduring silence could commence at any moment, not necessarily with a dramatic conclusion, but perhaps with the simple cessation of signals, leaving us to wonder about the fate of our most distant Voyager. This precarious situation underscores a broader theme in space exploration, the balance between the drive to explore further and the limitations of our technology. Voyager 1's journey is a testament to human ingenuity and the desire to explore the unknown. Yet, it also serves as a reminder of the vastness of space and the limitations we face in our quest to understand it. As we continue to listen for Voyager 1's whispers from the depths of space, we stand on the brink of potential silence, a poignant reminder of the spacecraft's lonely journey and the vast, unexplored cosmos that lies beyond our reach. What do you think about this? We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on the screen right now. So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf and the discovery was an accident. Wow. The last remaining territory on the planet that could have such a designation is Antarctica. In the depths of Antarctica, where the cold is bone-chilling and the wind bites with relentless ferocity, lies a continent veiled in mystery and wonder. Antarctica, Earth's southernmost frontier, is a place of extremes where towering icebergs carve through frigid waters and endless expanses of snow and ice stretch as far as the eye can see. But beyond its harsh and unforgiving landscape, Antarctica holds secrets that have captured the imagination of explorers, scientists and dreamers alike. What lies beneath the ice-covered surface of this remote continent? Could ancient civilizations or hidden alien bases lurk in the frozen depths, waiting to be uncovered? What clues to the origins of life on Earth might be hidden within the pristine ice cores that have accumulated over millennia? And perhaps most tantalizing of all, could Antarctica hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe, offering insights into the existence of extraterrestrial life? A land beyond imagination. Antarctica, the southernmost continent on Earth, stands as an unparalleled realm of extremes, vastly exceeding the size of the United States by over 1.5 times. This continent is uniquely situated within the confines of the Antarctic Circle. This geographic positioning subjects Antarctica to the most dramatic of seasonal contrasts, plunging it into months of unyielding darkness during the winter months, then flipping the script to bathe it in ceaseless daylight throughout the summer. It's a land where the sun either barely rises above the horizon or doesn't set at all, depending on the time of year, creating an environment that seems almost otherworldly. This continent is not just remarkable for its light phenomena, but also for being the coldest, windiest and driest place on Earth. Its vast expanses are blanketed in ice, harboring 90% of the planet's freshwater ice, which is a stark testament to nature's formidable power and dominance. The ice sheets, some stretching over thousands of miles, serve as a frozen archive, preserving the Earth's climatic history within their layers. Despite its freezing conditions, with temperatures that can plummet below minus 80 degrees Celsius, minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit, in the winter, Antarctica is classified as a desert. Its inner regions receive a mere two inches of precipitation per year, significantly less than the Sahara Desert, making it the driest continent. This minimal precipitation fails to penetrate the thick ice, instead accumulating layer upon layer, contributing to the ice sheet's monumental growth. Antarctica's desolate landscape is sporadically disrupted by ferocious blizzards, which, unlike typical storms, derive their strength not from moisture but from the continent's powerful winds. These winds, capable of reaching speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour, whip up the snow from the surface, creating wetouts that can disorient and challenge even the most seasoned explorers. These conditions create a realm where survival is a testament to resilience and adaptation, hosting only the hardiest of life forms, such as the microorganisms found in subglacial lakes, 
and occasional visitors like penguins and seals along its coastlines. Yet beneath its inhospitable and icy exterior, Antarctica is a treasure trove of scientific marvels and a magnet for explorers, researchers, and scientists. These individuals are driven by an innate curiosity and a relentless pursuit of knowledge, braving the extreme conditions to uncover the secrets hidden beneath the ice. The continent serves as a natural laboratory for a plethora of scientific fields, including glaciology, meteorology, oceanography, and even astrobiology. Research conducted in this icy wilderness offers invaluable insights into Earth's past climates, enabling scientists to piece together the planet's environmental history and gain a better understanding of climate change. The Antarctic ice cores, in particular, are crucial for this research, containing air bubbles that are tiny time capsules, providing snapshots of the Earth's atmosphere over hundreds of thousands of years. Moreover, the extreme conditions of Antarctica are ideal for conducting experiments and research that would be impossible elsewhere. The continent's isolation and the absence of human-induced pollution create a pristine environment for studying the cosmos, leading to significant advancements in space science and astrophysics. The clear, dry air offers unparalleled conditions for telescopic observations of the stars, planets and galaxies, furthering our understanding of the universe. Antarctica's unique ecosystem and its extremophiles organisms that thrive in the harshest environments also offer scientists a glimpse into the resilience of life, posing intriguing questions about life's potential on other planets. The discovery of these life forms in such extreme conditions expands our understanding of the limits of life on Earth and beyond, contributing to the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life. In essence, Antarctica, with its majestic icebergs, its mysterious subglacial lakes, and its vast, untouched wilderness, stands as a beacon of exploration and scientific inquiry. It challenges the human spirit to venture into the unknown, to endure, and to discover, reminding us of the vast mysteries that still await us on our own planet. The continent's extreme conditions, rather than deterring human curiosity, have only fueled it, driving us to push the boundaries of exploration and knowledge further than ever before. Echoes of the past, discovery and exploration. The saga of Antarctic exploration stretches back through the annals of human history, echoing with the whispers of ancient speculation and the thunderous roars of modern expeditions. For centuries, the notion of a vast southern landmass a terra australis incognita tantalized the imaginations of philosophers, cartographers, and adventurers alike. From the musings of ancient Greek scholars to the early voyages of European navigators, the quest for this elusive continent persisted, shrouded in myth and mystery. In the ancient world, philosophers such as Aristotle and Ptolemy speculated about the existence of a southern landmass to balance the known continents of the northern hemisphere. This conjecture, though rooted in rudimentary understanding and mythological beliefs, laid the groundwork for centuries of exploration and discovery. However, it wasn't until the dawn of the 19th century that the veil of mystery surrounding Antarctica began to lift. In 1820, the Russian expedition led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellinshausen and the British expedition under the command of Edward Bransfield made the first confirmed sightings of the continent, dispelling centuries of speculation and myth. These pioneering voyages, fraught with peril and hardship, marked the beginning of a new chapter in human exploration. The subsequent decades saw a flurry of expeditions as nations vied for supremacy in the race to conquer the last frontier. Among the most renowned figures of this era were Ernest Shackleton and Robert Falcon Scott, whose names are etched into the annals of Antarctic history with tales of heroism and tragedy. Shackleton's legendary endurance expedition which aimed to traverse the continent via the South Pole, ended in disaster when his ship became trapped in the ice, ultimately leading to a miraculous tale of survival against all odds. Scott's ill-fated Terra Nova expedition, while falling short of its goal to be the first to reach the South Pole, nevertheless immortalized the spirit of Antarctic exploration through his poignant journals and tragic demise on the return journey. The establishment of permanent research bases in the 20th century heralded a new era of Antarctic exploration, one focused not solely on conquest but on scientific inquiry and international cooperation. These bases, scattered across the icy expanse of the continent, serve as outposts of human endeavor, where researchers from around the world converge to unravel the mysteries of this frozen realm. 
from the study of glaciology and climatology to astronomy and astrophysics, Antarctica has emerged as a global laboratory for scientific discovery. The unique environmental conditions, coupled with the continent's isolation from human interference, provide an unparalleled opportunity to conduct research that is crucial for understanding Earth's past, present and future. Moreover, the spirit of collaboration that permeates Antarctic research transcends political boundaries, uniting nations in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. The Antarctic Treaty System, established in 1959, has fostered a spirit of cooperation and peaceful coexistence among signatory nations, ensuring that the continent remains a bastion of science and diplomacy in an ever-changing world. Mysteries Beneath the Ice the icy expanse of Antarctica has long been a source of fascination and intrigue, its frozen surface concealing secrets that have sparked the imagination of explorers, scientists, and conspiracy theorists alike. Beneath its sprawling ice sheets, which in some places reach depths of over a mile, lie mysteries that defy conventional explanation and challenge our understanding of history and the cosmos. Among the most tantalizing of these mysteries are the reports of ancient civilizations hidden beneath the ice. Tales of lost cities and advanced societies, whispered by explorers and adventurers, have fueled speculation about what lies buried beneath Antarctica's frozen surface. While mainstream archaeologists remain skeptical, proponents of these theories point to anomalous satellite images and alleged discoveries of man-made structures as evidence of a hidden history waiting to be uncovered. Perhaps the most sensational claim regarding Antarctica's enigmatic secrets came from a former naval officer and a journalist who made headlines when they revealed their encounters with what they described as an entrance to an alien base deep within the continent's icy realms. According to their accounts, they stumbled upon a massive man-made structure protruding from the ice, surrounded by a mysterious aura of electromagnetic energy. Their claims, supported by alleged eyewitness testimonies of UFO sightings and secret government expeditions, paint a picture of a hidden world inhabited by extraterrestrial beings, an idea that stretches the bounds of credibility and challenges our understanding of reality. While such claims may seem far-fetched to many, they have nevertheless captured the imagination of conspiracy theorists and ufologists who see Antarctica as ground zero for a clandestine extraterrestrial presence on Earth. The notion of ancient aliens shaping human history from the shadows, with Antarctica serving as a central hub of activity, has become a cornerstone of alternative historical narratives and pseudo-scientific speculation. Adding fuel to the fire are the discoveries of pyramid-like structures and other anomalous features visible beneath the melting ice of Antarctica. These enigmatic formations, captured in satellite images and aerial surveys, have prompted speculation about their origin and purpose, could they be remnants of a lost civilization that once thrived in Antarctica's icy wilderness? Or are they evidence of a more otherworldly influence? While mainstream scientists remain cautious in their interpretations, preferring to attribute such features to natural geological processes, the allure of the unknown continues to beckon researchers and adventurers to explore further. In recent years, advancements in technology and scientific research have shed new light on Antarctica's mysteries revealing glimpses of a world hidden beneath the ice. From the discovery of subglacial lakes and rivers to the mapping of ancient landscapes preserved beneath the frozen surface, scientists have begun to unravel the secrets of this icy continent, painting a picture of a dynamic and ever-changing environment teeming with life and geological wonders. These findings, while not yet fully understood, open the door to a world of possibilities about Earth's past and the broader universe. A hotbed of scientific discovery, Antarctica stands as a testament to the resilience of life and the boundless potential of scientific inquiry. While the continent may be shrouded in tales of mystery and extraterrestrial intrigue, its true marvel lies in its unparalleled value as a hotbed of scientific discovery. From unlocking the secrets of Earth's climatic past to probing the mysteries of the cosmos, Antarctica offers a wealth of opportunities for researchers seeking to unravel the mysteries of our planet and beyond. At the forefront of Antarctic science is the study of extremophiles, organisms that thrive in the most extreme environments imaginable. These resilient life forms, capable of surviving in conditions once thought uninhabitable, challenge our understanding of the limits of life. From the depths of subglacial lakes to the harsh, windswept plains, 
Extremophiles have been discovered thriving in Antarctica's most hostile environments, offering insights into the potential for life to exist in even the most inhospitable corners of the universe. The discovery of microbial life beneath the ice shelf, in particular, has sparked excitement among scientists, raising tantalizing questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. But Antarctica's scientific significance extends far beyond the realm of biology. The continent's ice cores, meticulously extracted from deep within its frozen surface, provide a unique window into Earth's climatic past. By analyzing the layers of ice, researchers can reconstruct past climate conditions with unprecedented accuracy, shedding light on the mechanisms driving global climate change and its potential impacts on the planet. From tracking atmospheric carbon levels to tracing the history of glaciation, Antarctica's ice cores offer invaluable insights into the complex interplay between Earth's climate systems, informing our efforts to mitigate the effects of climate change and protect the planet for future generations. In addition to its role in climate research, Antarctica also serves as a vital platform for astronomical observations. The continent's remote location, coupled with its clear skies and minimal light pollution, make it an ideal site for studying the cosmos. Astronomers stationed in Antarctica have access to unparalleled views of the night sky, free from the interference of city lights and atmospheric pollution. From observing distant galaxies to studying the cosmic microwave background radiation, Antarctica offers a unique vantage point for exploring the deepest mysteries of the universe, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. But perhaps the greatest value of Antarctica lies not in its individual contributions to science, but in its ability to foster international collaboration and cooperation in the pursuit of knowledge. Despite the political tensions that divide nations on other continents, Antarctica remains a beacon of unity with researchers from around the world coming together to explore and study its icy expanse. Through joint research initiatives and shared resources, scientists are able to tackle some of the most pressing challenges facing humanity, transcending borders and ideologies in the quest for a better understanding of our planet and its place in the cosmos. The continent's unique conditions also make it an ideal site for astronomical observations, with its clear skies and minimal light pollution providing a window into the universe's depths. The quest for extraterrestrial intelligence. The quest for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, has long captured the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. But recent revelations from Antarctica have reignited interest in this profound endeavor. As humanity peers deeper into the cosmos, from the detection of radio signals to the analysis of distant exoplanets, the age-old question persists. Are we alone in the universe? The barren expanse of Antarctica, with its harsh conditions and otherworldly landscapes, serves as a stark reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe. It is a place where the extremes of nature mirror the extremes of our own imaginations, a fitting backdrop for contemplating the possibility of life beyond our own planet. In recent years, advances in technology have brought the search for extraterrestrial intelligence closer to reality than ever before. The discovery of potentially habitable exoplanets orbiting distant stars has fueled excitement among astronomers, raising the tantalizing prospect of finding worlds teeming with life. Meanwhile, the development of powerful telescopes and sophisticated detection methods has enabled scientists to scan the skies for signs of intelligent alien civilizations, from elusive radio signals to enigmatic light patterns. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence lies in our attempts to communicate with potential alien civilizations. For decades, scientists have sent out messages into the void, broadcasting our existence and inviting contact with beings from distant worlds. These messages, whether in the form of radio signals or encoded data, represent humanity's hope and curiosity, our desire to reach out and connect with the unknown. Of course, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is not without its challenges and controversies. Critics argue that the vast distances separating us from other star systems make meaningful communication unlikely, while others caution against the risks of attracting the attention of potentially hostile alien species. Nevertheless, the quest for its SETI continues unabated, driven by humanity's innate curiosity and the belief that the search for life beyond Earth holds the key to understanding our place in the universe. These endeavors, while speculative, represent a desire to connect with the cosmos, to find our place among the stars. Ethical and philosophical implications. 
The possibility of discovering extraterrestrial life, whether through microbial findings buried beneath Antarctica's ice or the detection of signals emanating from distant galaxies, presents humanity with profound ethical and philosophical questions. Such a monumental discovery would challenge our fundamental understanding of life, intelligence, and our place in the cosmos. It would force us to reconsider our role as stewards not only of our planet, but potentially of the broader universe itself. Imagine the implications of encountering life forms vastly different from our own, perhaps even possessing levels of intelligence and consciousness beyond our comprehension. How would such a revelation reshape our understanding of the nature of life? Would it force us to revise our definitions of intelligence and consciousness, recognizing that these concepts may manifest in forms far stranger and more diverse than we ever imagined? Moreover, the discovery of extraterrestrial life would raise profound questions about our responsibilities as inhabitants of Earth. Would we have a duty to protect and preserve these newfound life forms, even if they existed light years away? Would we be compelled to consider the impact of our actions, not only on our own planet, but on the broader interconnected web of life that may extend throughout the universe? As we continue to explore Antarctica and push the boundaries of our scientific knowledge, we are constantly reminded of the vast expanse of the unknown that surrounds us. The White Continent, with its ice-shrouded landscapes and hidden secrets, serves as a poignant metaphor for the uncharted territories of knowledge and understanding that lie ahead. Just as Antarctica once represented a seemingly impenetrable barrier to exploration, so too do the mysteries of the universe challenge us to venture into the unknown, to seek out answers to questions that have eluded us for millennia. What do you think about this? We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on the screen right now. If we make contact with them, I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals signals from an extraterrestrial civilization in the huge space out there a strange thing called Aumuanua got everyone talking in 2017 guess what it's back and elon musk just revealed a big surprise it's got company Musk says it might crash into Earth super hard, like a hopping 1,000 atomic bombs. Scientists are scratching their heads. Is it going to smash into an alien spaceship from outer space? What mysteries is Aumuamua hiding? And how might it shake things up on our planet? Join us as we dig into the secrets of this space happening, exploring the unknown parts of space and unfolding the tale of Aumuamua's comeback. Before we move on, Make sure to check out Expedia's limited member, offers on flights and hotels. Check out the link in bio. It's absolutely free to become a member. Let's move on. Some scientists believe that Oumuamua could be an alien light sail, a spacecraft that uses sunlight for power. This is because Oumuamua has several unusual characteristics. It accelerates faster than expected as it approaches the sun. This could be explained by the pressure of sunlight pushing on a light sail. It has an elongated, cigar-shaped shape, which would be a good shape for a light sail. It is on a trajectory that will take it out of our solar system and never return. This is consistent with the trajectory of a spacecraft that is being propelled by sunlight. If Aumuamua is indeed an alien light sail, it would be the first concrete evidence that we have of intelligent life beyond Earth. It would also mean that alien civilizations have developed the technology to travel between stars. However, it is important to note that the theory that Aumuamua is an alien light sail is still speculative. More research is needed to confirm or deny this theory. It is likely made up of ice and rock, but it is not like a comet or an asteroid. Aumuamua accelerated as it got closer to the sun, but it did not have a tail. Also, its path is consistent with an object made of ice and rock that is being pushed by sunlight. One possible explanation is that Aumuamua is a piece of a comet that was ejected from another solar system. As it traveled through space, the ice on Aumuamua evaporated, but the rock remained. 
This would explain why Oumuamua accelerated as it got closer to the sun, but it did not have a tail. It would also explain why Oumuamua is on a path that will take it out of our solar system and never return. Another possibility is that Oumuamua is a type of object that we have never seen before. It could be a piece of an asteroid that was ejected from another solar system, or it could be something else entirely. First Encounter Our journey into the cosmos unfolds on October 19, 2017, when astronomers at the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii made an intriguing discovery. Oumuamua This cosmic traveler raced through our solar system at an astonishing speed of 320,000 km per hour, sparking the curiosity of scientists worldwide. The big question. Was it a comet, an asteroid, or something completely new? This cosmic puzzle led scientists to rethink what they thought they knew about space. Oumuamua challenges our understanding of the universe, prompting us to ask new questions and explore beyond our previous limits. Its unique characteristics invite us to ponder the mysteries that exist in the vastness of space. This cosmic anomaly is like an invitation to embark on a journey of discovery, encouraging us to unravel the secrets hidden in the cosmic universe. Aumuamua's Secrets As Aumuamua traveled through our solar system, scientists closely watched its strange movements. What surprised everyone was that it sped up more than they expected, making things even more interesting. Unlike typical comets, Oumuamua had a long shape and didn't have the usual tail, leaving scientists puzzled. People came up with different ideas to explain it, from thinking it might be using solid hydrogen for power to imagining it as a light sail made by aliens. Even Elon Musk got involved, suggesting there might be hidden secrets in Oumuamua, sparking conversations about the chance of life beyond our solar system. Aumuanua's journey challenges what we know about space objects, and it encourages us to think about the mysteries that might be out there in the vastness of the cosmos. It's not just a scientific puzzle. It's also a chance to explore the idea of life beyond our own celestial neighborhood. The Controversial Theories In the scientific landscape of 2018, Dr. Shmuel B. Ali and Professor A. V. Loeb proposed a thought-provoking theory about Aumuamua. They suggested it might be a light sail a spacecraft powered by sunlight, presenting a unique idea in space exploration. While some scientists were doubtful initially, the theory sparked discussions about Aumuamua's peculiar characteristics. Some thought it could be a sign of extraterrestrial origin, shaking up our understanding of the universe. Others were more cautious, suggesting the need for more evidence. This variety of opinions added an interesting layer to the ongoing exploration of Aumuamua, highlighting its complex and intriguing nature. The Bialy and Loeb theory not only challenged our usual ideas about celestial objects, but also prompted scientists to think about what encountering something from outside our solar system could mean. Aumuamua's return. Fast forward to the present day, and Aumuamua has made a dazzling comeback to our solar system. Elon Musk's recent announcement about the looming possibility of a direct collision with Earth has sparked fresh discussions about the true nature of this celestial visitor. As scientists wrestle with this revelation, the general public is buzzing with speculation about what an encounter with extraterrestrial forces might mean for us. Aumuanua's return has thrown the cosmic spotlight back on, prompting a renewed exploration of its characteristics and trajectory. This unexpected development has everyone, from experts to enthusiasts, captivated by the unfolding mysteries that Aumuamua brings to our cosmic doorstep. The reappearance of Aumuamua adds a thrilling new chapter to the ongoing cosmic tale, inviting us all to ponder the unknowns that lie within the realms of space. Perspectives and Skepticism In the science world, specialists hold varying opinions about Aumuamua. Neil deGrasse Tyson, an expert in space, advises caution, suggesting we shouldn't hastily connect it to aliens. In contrast, Elon Musk entertains the idea that aliens might exist. This difference in perspectives prompts conversations among everyday people about Aumuanua and its potential implications for Earth. It's akin to a widespread discussion about space mysteries, pondering what might exist in the vast, uncharted expanses of the universe. These talks inspire us to contemplate the mysteries of space and the possibility of life beyond our familiar celestial borders. 
Ongoing research and future discoveries. As scientists keep studying Oumuamua, they're discovering more about it. The Spitzer Space Telescope, which looks at infrared light, is helping us figure out what this strange object is made of. Astronomers are also trying to figure out where Oumuamua came from, and it looks like it had a complicated journey through our galaxy. People are talking about it again because Oumuamua's return is making scientists discuss other things in space, and whether we might come across something from outer space. This renewed interest in Oumuamua is sparking conversations not just about this specific object, but also about broader topics in space exploration. As we explore space, the mysterious Oumuamua captures our attention, challenging what we know about the universe. Scientists are trying to figure out if Oumuamua is just a natural space thing or a sign of aliens. This journey to understand Oumuamua is like an ongoing space adventure with scientists making new discoveries and adding more pieces to the space puzzle. The exploration into the cosmos, guided by Oumuamua's presence, invites us to dig into the cosmic mysteries that are waiting for us to uncover. If you enjoyed this journey through space, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. More astonishing facts await, and a world to discover is here to bring them to you. Join us as we continue to explore the wonders of our world, Again, if you are planning a vacation, you can book your next trip on Expedia by visiting the link in the description below. Right now, you can save 10% or more if you are a member, with thousands of hotels to choose from. Also, members save up to 30% when you add a hotel to a flight. It's free to become a member, so hit the link in description to book your next travel adventure. For centuries, our gaze has been drawn upwards to the mysteries of the cosmos, pondering what lies beyond the glittering veil of stars. Today, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands at the helm of cosmic exploration, ushering us into a new era of discovery. This marvel of technology, equipped with the most advanced instruments, is poised to unravel the secrets of the universe. But what have these new eyes in the sky revealed? How might these groundbreaking discoveries reshape our understanding of the cosmos? Join us as we delve into the revelations of the James Webb Space Telescope and ponder the profound questions they raise about our place in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, often referred to simply as JWST, represents a significant leap forward in our ability to observe the cosmos. Launched in December 2021, this telescope is often hailed as the successor to the iconic Hubble Space Telescope. While Hubble has served us incredibly well, JWST is designed to surpass its predecessor with a suite of advanced technologies and instruments. Equipped with a large primary mirror that spans 6.5 meters across, considerably larger than Hubble's 2.4 meters, JWST can collect more light and observe objects in far greater detail. This larger size allows it to look deeper into space and further back in time, giving astronomers a clearer view of the early universe. One of JWST's most notable advancements is its ability to observe primarily in the infrared spectrum. This capability is crucial because it allows the telescope to see through cosmic dust clouds that obscure other wavelengths of light. By doing so, JWST can reveal hidden regions of space and provide new insights into the formation of stars, galaxies, and planetary systems. The mission objectives of JWST are broad, yet profoundly significant. They include unraveling the mysteries of our solar system, exploring distant worlds around other stars, and probing the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place within it. Each of these objectives not only sets the stage for a deeper understanding of the cosmos, but also ensures JWST's role as a cornerstone of astronomical research for the foreseeable future. Now let's dive into the concept of the observable universe and what that really means for us on Earth. The observable universe includes everything that we can see from our vantage point here on Earth, whether through the naked eye or with the most advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. It's important to note that when we talk about the observable universe, we're really talking about the portion of the universe from which light has had enough time to reach us since the beginning of the cosmic timeline, the Big Bang, which happened about 13.8 billion years ago. This brings us to the mind-boggling scale of the observable universe. It measures about 93 billion light years in diameter. Now, a light year isn't a measure of time, but of distance. It represents the distance that light can travel in one year, which is approximately 5.88 trillion miles, or about 9.46 trillion kilometers. 
To put this in perspective, imagine light traveling at about 670 million mph, which is roughly the speed of light, and covering that enormous distance in a year. So when we say the observable universe is 93 billion light years across, we're saying that it spans a distance of about 546.84 billion trillion miles, or 878.58 billion trillion kilometers. This immense scale helps us grasp just how vast the cosmos really is, filled with galaxies, stars, and other celestial phenomena, each of which could hold countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. In the early 20th century, our understanding of the universe underwent a dramatic transformation thanks to Albert Einstein and Edwin Hubble. In 1915, Einstein introduced his theory of general relativity, which radically changed how we understand gravity. Unlike Newton's view of gravity as a force acting at a distance, Einstein described it as the effect of curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. This groundbreaking theory led to the realization that the universe isn't static but is, in fact, in motion. This theoretical framework set the stage for a pivotal observation by Edwin Hubble in 1929. Hubble discovered that galaxies are moving away from us, and crucially, the farther a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be receding. This phenomenon indicated that the universe is expanding, a concept that was initially counterintuitive even to Einstein. The tool central to understanding this expansion is the concept of redshift. Redshift occurs because as the universe expands, the light from distant galaxies is stretched along with the space through which it travels. This stretching shifts the light towards the red end of the spectrum, hence the name redshift. By measuring how much the light from a galaxy has been redshifted, astronomers can determine how fast it is moving away from us. This not only confirms the expansion of the universe, but also helps in estimating the rate of that expansion. Through these observations, redshift has become a fundamental aspect of cosmological research, allowing us to peer back into the universe's history and better understand its dynamic nature. As we gaze into the cosmos, one of the most intriguing questions we encounter is, what lies at the edge of the observable universe? The observable universe includes everything we can see from Earth, measuring out to about 93 billion light years in diameter. But what exists beyond this boundary? Theories about the universe's edge often delve into complex and fascinating ideas about the nature of the cosmos itself. One popular theory suggests that the universe might be infinite. If this is true, it means there is no actual edge in the way we might traditionally imagine. Space could extend endlessly, containing an infinite number of galaxies and celestial phenomena, all interwoven in the fabric of the cosmos. Alternatively, some theorists propose that the universe is finite but without any edges or boundaries. This model suggests that space curves back on itself, much like the surface of a sphere. In this scenario, if you could travel far enough in one direction, you might eventually return to your starting point, traversing the universe much like circumnavigating the globe. This concept challenges our perceptions and highlights the extraordinary complexity and beauty of the universe. Both theories showcase human curiosity and our pursuit of understanding the universe's vast scale and form, providing a framework to explore the cosmos further with advanced technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has once again turned our understanding of the cosmos on its head with its latest discoveries. Among the most startling revelations are the observations of six massive galaxies that existed surprisingly early in the universe's history. Between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang, Prior to these findings, scientists expected this era to contain only small, fledgling galaxies. The existence of such large galaxies so soon after the Big Bang poses a significant challenge to our existing models of galaxy formation. These galaxies, each comparable in mass to our 13-billion-year-old Milky Way, contain mature red stars, suggesting that they developed far more rapidly than any models had predicted. This rapid maturity contradicts previous assumptions that galaxies in the early universe started as small conglomerations of stars and dust, which gradually grew over billions of years. The James Webb Space Telescope, through its deep field imaging capabilities, not only captured these galaxies, but provided data that has left astronomers reeling. These findings compel astronomers to revisit and possibly revise our understanding of cosmic history, particularly how galaxies and structures came into being so shortly after the universe's birth. This breakthrough demonstrates the JWST's unmatched capacity to expand our understanding of the early universe, adding depth to our knowledge of galaxy formation and challenging existing scientific theories. 
The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, represents a significant leap forward in astronomical technology, equipped with state-of-the-art instruments designed to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. Among its most notable features is its suite of infrared capabilities, which allow it to observe the universe in wavelengths of light invisible to the human eye. This is crucial because infrared light can penetrate cosmic dust clouds that often obscure other forms of radiation. One of JWST's primary tools is its powerful infrared cameras. These cameras are essential for observing the early universe as they capture images of celestial objects whose light has been stretched into the infrared spectrum by the expanding universe. This stretching, known as redshift, is more pronounced in objects that are farther away, meaning that JWST's infrared cameras can see further back in time than those of any previous telescope. In addition to its cameras, JWST is equipped with spectrographs that add another layer of observational power. Spectrographs are instruments that split incoming light into its component colors or wavelengths. This allows astronomers to analyze the properties of that light, including its composition, temperature, and motion. By studying the spectral lines in these light signatures, scientists can determine the chemical composition of distant stars and galaxies, uncovering details about their age, mass, and even potential for planets. Moreover, the telescope's use of coronagraphs, a technology designed to block out the blinding light of stars, enables the direct observation of nearby exoplanets and other faint objects around those stars. This combination of advanced instruments makes JWS uniquely capable of studying the formation and evolution of stars, galaxies, and planetary systems, providing a window into processes that occurred billions of years ago, only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. In a recent groundbreaking discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have uncovered evidence of six massive galaxies that existed surprisingly early in the universe's history, between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. This revelation is particularly startling because prior to this, scientists had only expected to find small, nascent galaxies at such an early stage in cosmic history. The presence of these large, mature galaxies so soon after the Big Bang poses significant challenges to our existing theories of how galaxies form and evolve. Traditionally, astronomers believed that galaxies started small and gradually grew larger over billions of years through processes such as star formation and mergers with other galaxies. However, the discovery of these universe-breaker galaxies, as they have been aptly nicknamed, suggests that galaxy formation might occur more rapidly and differently than previously thought. Each of these galaxies appears to be as large and as mature as our own Milky Way, which is roughly 13 billion years old. This unexpected maturity of galaxies and what can be considered the cosmic dawn forces astronomers to reconsider the physics of early universe galaxy formation. It suggests that significant amounts of star formation must have happened very quickly to allow these galaxies to reach such a mature state so early on. These findings not only raise questions about the speed and process of galaxy formation, but also hint at the possibility that the conditions in the early universe might have been different from what the current models suggest. Now let's look at what the future holds. As we continue to push the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge, the future of space exploration looks brighter than ever, thanks to upcoming missions and advanced telescopes. A particularly exciting development is the planned launch of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, formerly known as the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope, or WFIRST. Scheduled for launch in 2027, this telescope will carry on the legacy of the James Webb Space Telescope by delving even deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos. The Roman Space Telescope is designed to explore various fundamental questions in the fields of dark energy, exoplanets, and infrared astrophysics. With a primary mirror diameter of 2.4 meters, identical to that of the Hubble Space Telescope, the Roman Space Telescope will offer a new perspective on the universe. Its wide field instrument will allow it to capture images over a field of view more than 100 times larger than that of the Hubble, enabling it to survey the sky at unprecedented scales. This will not only increase our ability to observe the cosmos, but will also dramatically enhance our understanding of the universe's structure and evolution. Moreover, the Roman Space Telescope will be equipped with a coronagraph instrument, which is specifically designed for high-contrast imaging and spectroscopy of nearby exoplanets. This instrument will be crucial for blocking out the overwhelming glare of stars, allowing the telescope to directly image exoplanets. 
Such capabilities are expected to revolutionize our insights into planetary formation and offer new possibilities for studying potentially habitable planets. By building on the discoveries made by the JWST, the Roman Space Telescope will extend our cosmic reach, bringing us closer to answering some of the most profound questions about our universe. This seamless integration of past achievements with future potential underscores the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of astronomical exploration. In summary, the advent of the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope marks a significant milestone in our ongoing quest to understand the cosmos. By leveraging cutting-edge technology and building upon the foundation laid by the James Webb Space Telescope, this new mission promises to expand our horizons further, offering deeper insights into the universe's secrets and potentially uncovering new realms of knowledge in dark energy, exoplanets, and beyond. As we look to the future, the potential for discovery seems limitless, promising a new era of astronomical breakthroughs. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on your screen right now. If you go to the early universe, right after the Big Bang, it was expanding way faster than the speed of light. Imagine unraveling the mysteries of the universe, where every discovery shifts our understanding of cosmic origins, structure, and fate. The James Webb Space Telescope has thrown a curveball at physicists, challenging what we thought we knew with a single image that rewrites the rules. As we dive into the realms of the Hubble constant controversy and the enigmatic SA tension, we find ourselves at the edge of a scientific revolution. What new physics might emerge from this cosmic puzzle? Could we be on the brink of redefining our place in the universe? What do you think lies beyond our current understanding? How will these discoveries shape our future in the cosmos? The sun will have a fate such as this, where at the end its outer layers of gas will escape into space. Cosmology's crisis. In the heart of modern astrophysics lies a puzzle that has perplexed scientists for years, known as the crisis in cosmology. This profound enigma stems from a significant discrepancy between two primary methods of estimating the universe's age and expansion rate. On one hand, local measurements, which scrutinize astronomical objects within our universe, such as Cepheid variable stars and type Ia supernova, suggest a certain pace of expansion. On the other, early universe measurements, derived from observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the universe's oldest light, paint a different picture hinting at a slower rate of expansion. This persistent disagreement has not only fueled a fiery debate among scientists, but has also launched a series of research efforts aiming to unravel the underlying cause. Whether this discrepancy points to new physics at play or systematic errors in our measurements, it underscores the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of cosmological science. As we stand at the crossroads of this cosmic dilemma, the journey to solve the crisis in cosmology continues to be a testament to our relentless pursuit of understanding the universe's deepest secrets. Hubble Constant Controversy At the heart of modern cosmology lies the Hubble Constant Controversy, a profound puzzle that has scientists across the globe scratching their heads. This controversy stems from the conflict between two primary methods of measuring the universe's expansion rate. On one side, we have local measurements, which rely on observing standard candles like Cepheid variables and type Ia supernovae. These celestial markers, whose intrinsic brightness we understand well, allow astronomers to calculate distances and thus estimate the rate at which the universe is expanding. On the other side are early universe measurements derived from the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, offering a snapshot of the universe at a much younger age. Surprisingly, these two approaches yield significantly different values for the Hubble constant, suggesting we might either be on the cusp of uncovering new physics that could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos or facing systematic errors in our measurements that need addressing. This discrepancy not only highlights the complexities of cosmic measurement, but also serves as a tantalizing indication that the universe may still have secrets to reveal, potentially reshaping our cosmic models and theories. JWST's early observations. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unprecedented resolution and sensitivity, promised to usher in a new era in our understanding of the cosmos, particularly by refining measurements of the Hubble constant, 
which charts the universe's expansion rate. Yet, early observations from this marvel of modern astronomy have done more than just refine. They complicated the cosmic picture even further. As we peered back in time to the universe's earliest epochs, the data gathered didn't snugly fit into our existing models. This unexpected twist has not only intensified the debate around the universe's expansion rate, but also hinted at the potential for undiscovered aspects of physics, suggesting that the universe might be more intricate and mysterious than our current scientific framework allows. This development underscores a pivotal moment in cosmology, where each observation is a step toward unraveling the universe's most profound mysteries proving that the cosmos still holds secrets beyond our current grasp. Implications of the crisis The unfolding crisis in cosmology, marked by the striking discrepancies between different measurements of the universe's expansion rate and its clumpy structure, beckons a profound revaluation of our cosmic understanding. As we stand at the crossroads of discovery, the potential implications of this crisis stretch far beyond mere academic curiosity, hinting at the necessity for a paradigm shift in the standard model of cosmology. Such a shift could entail the introduction of new, previously unknown particles or forces that subtly govern the fabric of the cosmos, or it might require a radical rethinking of dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion. These theoretical upheavals are not just reshaping our cosmic models, but are also paving the way for groundbreaking advancements in physics, promising to unlock deeper secrets of the universe. This moment in scientific history could very well mark the dawn of a new era in cosmology, where our understanding of the universe undergoes its most significant transformation yet. Historical context. Throughout history, the field of cosmology has witnessed dramatic shifts, each new discovery pushing the boundaries of our cosmic comprehension. It began over a century ago with the Big Bang Theory, an idea that posited our universe as expanding from a singular, incredibly dense state approximately 13.8 billion years ago, a model that fundamentally altered our grasp of cosmic evolution. This expansion, quantified by the Hubble constant, became a cornerstone of modern astrophysics. Yet the journey of cosmological discovery didn't stop there. In the late 1990s, observations of distant supernova unveiled that the universe's expansion was accelerating not decelerating as previously assumed. This led to the groundbreaking introduction of dark energy, a mysterious force driving this acceleration, which challenged and extended our existing models. Each of these milestones, from the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965, which provided compelling evidence for the Big Bang Theory, to the later understanding of dark energy, has necessitated the constant evolution of our cosmic theories, these shifts not only exemplify the dynamic and self-correcting nature of scientific inquiry, but also underscore the importance of remaining open to new data and the mysteries it may unveil, pushing us toward a deeper understanding of the universe's intricate dance. The SA tension. The SA tension, a phenomenon less widely recognized than the Hubble tension, yet equally perplexing, underscores a profound discrepancy in our observations of the universe's clumpiness challenging the coherence of cosmic evolution as we understand it. This tension arises from conflicting measurements of matter's distribution and density across the cosmos, a fundamental aspect that significantly influences our comprehension of cosmic structure and history. While low redshift observations, particularly those involving weak gravitational lensing, paint a picture of a universe where matter clumps together in a certain pattern, the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang suggests a smoother distribution of matter than what we observe in our nearby universe. This discrepancy not only highlights a potential gap in our understanding of the universe's evolution from its nascent, smooth state to its current clumpy configuration, but also signals the tantalizing possibility that new physics might be required to reconcile these conflicting views. As we stand on the brink of potentially groundbreaking discoveries, the resolution of the SA tension could redefine our understanding of the cosmos, marking a pivotal moment in the field of cosmology. The Flamingo Project In the heart of the cosmological enigma lies the Flamingo Project, a colossal computational endeavor designed to pierce through the veil of the SA tension. This tension, a stark discrepancy in the universe's matter distribution and density, has left scientists scratching their heads. Leveraging one of the globe's most formidable supercomputers at Durham University, Flamingo represents an ambitious leap into the unknown, 
consuming over 50 million hours of compute time across 30,000 processors. Its aim, to simulate the cosmos not just in fragments, but in its overwhelming entirety, from the swirling galaxies to the enigmatic supermassive black holes at their centers. This was no ordinary simulation. It was a universe in silico, embodying both the dark and ordinary matter that weaves the fabric of everything. Yet, despite its groundbreaking approach and the staggering detail it provided, Flamingo encountered the humbling vastness of cosmic mysteries head-on. The essay tension remained unresolved, a testament to the profound complexities of marrying theoretical physics with the raw, unyielded data from the cosmos. The Flamingo project, with all its computational might, underscored a critical junction in cosmology, the persistent challenge of aligning our most advanced models with the intricate tapestry of observational evidence ongoing challenges and opportunities. In the vast and ever-expanding field of cosmology, the ongoing challenges such as the Hubble and Say tensions are not merely scientific quandaries, but catalysts for innovation and collaboration. These tensions arising from discrepancies in the universe's expansion rate and its clumpiness underscore the complex dance between observation theory and the unknown forces shaping our cosmos. They propel technological advancements pushing us to develop more precise instruments that can peer deeper into the fabric of space and time and foster international and interdisciplinary collaborations, uniting astronomers, physicists, and computational scientists in a collective quest to solve these cosmic puzzles. This dynamic nature of scientific inquiry, where every obstacle becomes a stepping stone, highlights the resilience and curiosity driving humanity's quest to understand the universe. As we stand at the crossroads of potentially revolutionary discoveries, these challenges remind us that the journey of exploration is as important as the destination, inviting us to reconsider our theories, expand our horizons, and perhaps redefine our place within the cosmos. This pursuit not only deepens our understanding of the universe, but also exemplifies the spirit of discovery that has propelled human knowledge forward through the ages. Future Outlook as we peer deeper into the cosmos with the unparalleled capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, we stand on the cusp of a new era in cosmology, one rife with the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that could fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe. The persistent tensions and discrepancies observed, such as the Hubble constant controversy and the SA tension, which challenge our models of cosmic expansion and matter distribution, are not merely obstacles. Instead, they represent invaluable opportunities to push the boundaries of current scientific paradigms. With JWST's advanced observational prowess, we are now equipped to probe the universe's earliest epochs, examine the first galaxies, and refine our measurements of cosmic expansion and matter distribution in unprecedented detail. This cutting-edge telescope is poised to address the SA tension head-on requiring meticulous observation and possibly the genesis of new theoretical insights. Whether it leads to a better understanding of dark energy, accounts for the behavior of dark matter, or uncovers entirely new physics, the implications are profound. The crises in cosmology, such as the Hubble and Se'e tensions, are not stumbling blocks but stepping stones that drive the field forward, leading to more precise instruments, deeper theoretical insights, and ultimately, a more comprehensive understanding of the cosmos. In this exciting journey of cosmic discovery, every challenge is a doorway to new knowledge, and the JWST is the key we have long been waiting for, promising to illuminate the darkest corners of our universe and perhaps reveal its most closely guarded secrets. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on the screen right now. Imagine traveling billions of kilometers into the uncharted region of space to a place where storms the size of Earth churn through an icy blue atmosphere and winds howl at unimaginable speeds. Greetings from Neptune, the far-off enigmatic giant of our solar system that enthralls and confounds astronomers worldwide. This ice giant is like something out of a science fiction book, especially with its mysterious moon, Triton. Yet the realities we've only just started to learn about dwarf even our most fantastical fantasies. Deeper exploration of Triton's frozen mysteries and Neptune's flowing mysteries raises issues that cast doubt on our comprehension of the cosmos. 
Why is the internal engine of Neptune so strong that it can overcome the frigid darkness of its far orbit? And can Triton, with its geologic activity and retrograde motion, hold secrets beneath its frozen crust that change our perception of possible extraterrestrial life sites? Come along as we investigate these and other issues while delving into one of the solar system's most intriguing frontiers. Voyager 2 reached its closest approach to Neptune in August 1989, completing a historic chapter in space exploration and the spacecraft's last planetary encounter. This was also a major turning point in the Voyager mission. Voyager 2's mission to sweep by Neptune yielded incredible photos and priceless data, illuminating a world of vivid blue hues, spinning clouds, and complex weather systems never before seen by human eyes. In addition to providing us with our first up-close looks at Neptune, this flyby provided important new information about the planet's magnetic field, atmosphere, and fascinating array of moons surrounding it. Unexpected information about Neptune's tumultuous atmosphere was uncovered by the data, including the identification of the Great Dark Spot, an anticyclonic storm similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. The meeting brought to light some of Neptune's oddities, like its extraordinarily strong weather patterns and the solar system's greatest wind speeds, which may reach 1,600 miles per hour. Voyager 2's visit to Neptune significantly altered our knowledge of the outer solar system, igniting current research projects and posing fresh queries for upcoming expeditions. Neptune is one of the more remarkable planets in our solar system based on some rather astounding numbers. Neptune draws attention because it is the fourth largest planet in terms of diameter, but it has other noteworthy characteristics as well. It is the largest and densest ice giant in terms of bulk as well. Only Uranus belongs to this category, which emphasizes planets mostly made of more volatile materials like water, ammonia, and methane, surrounded by an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. But how does Neptune fit in with the other planets? The planet is a monster both in terms of its physical presence and gravitational force because it is an astounding 17 times larger than Earth. Its enormous size helps to distinguish it from gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, which are primarily made of hydrogen and helium, and earns it the designation of ice giant. Because of its large mass and density, Neptune may have a complex interior structure with habitats that are very different from Earth's or any other planet in our solar system due to pressures and temperatures. Because of its distinct set of characteristics, Neptune is a fascinating object to study for planetary science, as well as for learning about the dynamics of other exoplanets in our galaxy that are comparable to it. In Neptune's stellar neighborhood, Triton is a massive object both in terms of size and the amount of gravitational pull it possesses. This moon is the heavyweight champion of the Neptunian system, containing more than 95.5% of the mass orbiting Neptune. When Triton was first identified in 1846 by British astronomer William Lassell, it stood out from other moons in our solar system as well as those of Neptune. Triton is unique in that it rotates in the opposite direction of Neptune, because to its odd retrograde orbit. This strange motion suggests a tumultuous history, possibly signifying that Triton did not develop alongside the planet Neptune, but rather was ensnared by its gravity. Triton's active geology, which is remarkably vivid for a moon so far from the sun, supports this view. Triton's cryovolcanism depicts a dynamic living world beneath its frozen exterior. Driven by heat from the moon's interior, Plumes of nitrogen gas burst through the surface, indicating the presence of geological processes akin to those on Earth's own volcanically active bodies. This action may indicate the existence of an internal heat source that maintains a portion of Triton's subsurface ocean liquid, providing a tantalizing glimpse into potentially habitable circumstances. Buried behind ice sheets, such an ocean would not only transform our knowledge of Triton, but also hold secrets regarding the Moon's origins and development. Even the most experienced astronomers are baffled by the mystery surrounding Neptune. Despite being 4.5 billion kilometers away from the sun, this frozen monster is able to release twice as much energy as it takes in. The riddle is further compounded by the fact that Neptune's atmosphere is actually home to some of the most violent weather systems in our solar system, rather than being a peaceful sea of blue. Here, the winds are not merely gentle breezes, they may reach speeds of up to 20 hundred kmeh. However, what may be causing such severe weather? The solution is buried deep within Neptune. Neptune is dependent on an internal heat source in contrast to Earth, which receives the majority of its energy from the Sun. 
Although the exact source of this heat is unknown, scientists believe that gravitational contraction or the steady compression of the planet's own material may be the cause. On the other hand, the planet's core radioactive element decay could be the source of the heat. Uncovering the mystery of Neptune's interior energy, which powers enormous winds and massive storms, is essential to understanding not only the atmospheric dynamics and internal workings of exoplanets around the cosmos, but also the riddles surrounding this far-off planet. The scientific world has taken notice of a number of atmospheric oddities that Neptune has displayed in recent years. These include the enduring storm systems and enigmatic dark patches, which are uncannily similar to Jupiter's notorious Great Red Spot. Neptune's storms are enormous and long-lasting, showing a more tumultuous aspect of this far-off planet than the transient, unpredictable weather patterns we're used to on Earth. And classic example of a storm was one that was seen during the Voyager 2 flyby in the late 1980s. This enormous storm system, also called the Great Dark Spot, was as big as Earth. Interestingly, this storm disappeared and was replaced by other comparable places in different parts of the Earth when astronomers searched for it later using the Hubble Space Telescope. Significant queries concerning the genesis and life cycle of Neptune's storms are brought up by their fleeting character. What causes these enormous storms? The reason could be found in Neptune's interior heat, which is unusually powerful given the planet's enormous distance from the Sun. Compared to its solar radiation, Neptune releases a large amount of energy, indicating the presence of an internal mechanism that may be connected to the quick condensation of ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, and methane in the atmosphere. Moreover, Neptune's dark areas are believed to be anticyclonic systems, just like their Jovian counterpart. Without direct observations, much of the dynamics of these systems, including how they arise and why they dissolve, is still hypothetical. Nonetheless, the fact that they exist indicates how dynamic and active Neptune's atmosphere is, which forces scientists to reconsider atmospheric research on massive planets. Our knowledge of planetary atmospheres generally, even those outside of our solar system, is influenced by research on Neptune's atmosphere. Neptune is a fascinating contender in the search for possible homes beyond Earth. This enormous planet's vast size suggests that there may be room for human existence or colonization. Scientists are fascinated by Neptune's potential because of its abundant water supplies that are hidden beneath layers of ice, despite its harsh and unforgiving conditions. In addition to encouraging survivalist ideas, the prospect of using these water supplies sparks debates over whether life is possible in such harsh, far-off places. It's true that Neptune is hostile right now, with its strong winds and icy temperatures, but scientists are still debating what might happen in the future. Is it possible that technological progress may eventually enable humans to alter these settings, or at least establish livable areas inside them? Furthermore, given its vast size, the planet may be able to sustain a population, assuming that strategies for withstanding or adapting to its harsh environments are created. With the development of increasingly advanced space-based observatories, our dependence on ground-based telescopes has drastically changed in our quest to understand the mysteries of Neptune and its fascinating moon Triton. Deeper observations of our solar system have been made possible by the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, and the more recent James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which have provided previously unthinkable levels of clarity and detail. The 1990-launched Hubble Space Telescope, HST, has been a key instrument in the study of Neptune's dynamic atmosphere and intricate weather patterns. Because of its capacity to take high-resolution pictures, scientists have been able to track the development and evolution of storm systems on Neptune in real time. These findings have provided insight into the complex mechanisms underlying Neptune's tumultuous atmosphere. Let me introduce the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be launched in 2021 and will greatly advance our capacity for observation. The cutting-edge equipment of the JWST is intended to observe mostly in the infrared spectrum, which is essential for researching far-off astronomical worlds like Triton and Neptune. JWST can see through Neptune's dense cloud cover thanks to its potent array of detectors, offering previously unattainable insights into the planet's thermal characteristics and atmospheric makeup. Furthermore, studying Triton's surface and maybe subsurface seas is becoming increasingly dependent on the sensitivity and resolution of the JWST. The JWST analyzes light reflected off the icy crust of Triton to help astronomers learn more about its composition and to record events like cryovolcanic eruptions which are thought to spew ammonia and water into space.
As our cosmic eyes, space telescopes continuously send data that helps us learn more about the solar system and reveals the secrets of far-off worlds like Neptune and Triton. Neptune's immense distance from Earth makes it one of the biggest obstacles to contemporary astronomy and space exploration. Because of its extreme distance, roughly 4.5 billion kilometers, every expedition to Neptune is an enormous operation. Signals alone take more than four hours to go one way due to the great distance between our planet and Neptune, making real-time communication and spacecraft management difficult. The enormous distance has an effect on both the energy needed to transmit probes to and from Neptune, as well as the logistics of spaceflight. In order to reach Neptune, carry out scientific operations, and maybe return data to Earth, spacecraft must carry enough fuel. This necessitates meticulous planning and cutting-edge engineering to maximize paths and the scientific return on the energy expended. In addition, there are more challenges because of the harsh environment outside of our solar system. Highly effective thermal control and power systems are essential for spacecraft due to the extreme cold and limited solar energy accessible at such distances. The fact that radioisotope thermoelectric generators are used instead of solar panels illustrates the creativity needed to function in such a hostile environment. Every bit of information gleaned from Neptune's orbit is priceless because it sheds light on the planet and deepens our knowledge of the dynamics of the outer solar system while demonstrating the inventiveness and rapidly developing technologies that propel space travel. NASA's ambitious ambitions for the future in space travel continue the quest to discover the secrets of our cosmic neighbors. The Neptune Odyssey is one of the most eagerly awaited missions. It could set off as early as 2031. This project offers a unique chance to explore deep inside Neptune and its mysterious moon Triton, going beyond a conventional flyby. The Neptune Odyssey seeks to perform a thorough investigation of Neptune and Triton, concentrating on their atmospheres, geology, and possible marine conditions. It does this by employing state-of-the-art equipment and careful preparation. This expedition offers a fascinating peek into the mysteries concealed within these far-off worlds, marking a substantial advancement in our understanding of them. Just picture the enthusiasm that is building among the engineers and scientists at NASA as they get ready for this historic voyage. A monument to human ingenuity and our never-ending hunger for knowledge, the Neptune Odyssey is the result of years of planning, investigation, and excitement. Many people who are eager to discover the secrets of Neptune and Triton are carrying with them the aspirations and dreams they have as the spaceship rockets through space. Every element of these celestial bodies, from the inside workings of their atmospheres to the geological characteristics scattered across their surfaces, will be examined with an unprecedented level of accuracy. In addition to advancing our knowledge of Neptune and Triton, the information acquired by the Neptune Odyssey will provide insight into the larger processes forming our solar system. We are getting closer to understanding the workings of our cosmos and may perhaps find hints of extraterrestrial life by solving the riddles of these far-off places. Let's sum up by saying that NASA's Neptune Odyssey mission is a critical step forward in humanity's exploration of the distant regions of our solar system. This enormous project, which focuses on Neptune and Triton, aims to solve long-standing puzzles and deepen our understanding of these far-off worlds. The Neptune Odyssey serves as a reminder of the limitless possibilities of human exploration and the unwavering spirit of discovery that propels us to push the boundaries of knowledge as we eagerly await the launch, which might occur as early as 2031. We hope you found these facts intriguing. If you've heard them before or have any thoughts to share, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to A World to Discover to join us on our journey of discovery. While you're still here, feel free to click on other videos you will see on your screen right now.